those are good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are you good? Dude. One weekend alone. So like, happy. This guy. So happy. Oh, that dude. shit is a vacation. We should talk We're about vacation, that. We my vacation. Talk about that. <laughs> That's my dream vacation is you go somewhere. What is that? I'm at home. My dream vacation is your dream vacation. Is that like that Louis joke? I'm at the house, yo. Chilling. You know that Louis joke where he's yeah. like. That walk around yeah, walk my around vacation? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Your vacation, <laughs> my vacation. That's Jerry Seinfeld's favorite Louis joke. That yeah. guy Jerry's fucking gets it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the guy gets it. The dude, like, listen, bro. Say whatever you want. I know y'all hate on Jerry, but like that guy gets it, bro. Real talk, man. Well, guys, we're chilling. all growing and transforming in 2021. Dude. Say again. We're all growing and transforming. You know? That's it, all man. You gotta transform. You gotta grow. You gotta, you know. You got to live up to your fullest potential. You're right, yo. You got to live. You can't be in places that are, you know, unlivable. Yeah. You know mentally, I mean? like, mentally, or, mentally, physically, yeah. it's cold out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what if you could change it? Would you not? That's a good point. If you could change, if you could wake up in the morning, right, and mm. then decide the weather, what would you decide? 28 mm -hmm. and cloudy? Mm -hmm. no. It'd be cruel to do that. Never. It would be cruel. It'd be unethical. You'd be thinking only about yourself. Yeah. But sometimes you got to think about other people. You do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to look at the less fortunate and take them out of a difficult situation. <laughs> and you're, with, you're with three people who are from tropical climates. You know what I yeah. mean? Mm -hmm. exactly. Warm climates. What Africa, India, Florida. What the fuck India, is Florida. Alex doing over here, bro? This guy's got to be closer to the motherland. Yeah. That's true. Do you know what I mean? You're right about you it. You got to be closer to the motherland. Hey. Mark, mm, yep, yep. You're Where? not supposed to be here, bro. Uh -uh, you yep. haven't even uh, bought a jacket. Nope. That's a Florida boy. <laughs> That's a Florida boy, dude. Yeah, I was yeah. never supposed to be here. Okay, you Akash. I'm Indian, yo. Warm people. This warm people. Uh huh. Taylor. Some people gotta stay, yeah. bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It is what yeah, it you is. Gotta be You're Bruce Philly. Willis. Yeah. This is Armageddon. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone gotta explode the rock. And I think you got it. I think you're the woman for the job. Yeah. I think it's something only a woman could do, especially a black woman. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. A black woman. Save the world. Mm -hmm. Like Taylor or Danny Lee. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or, whatever, or whatever her name is. A real <laughs> thoroughbred black no, woman, bro. Beautiful mm -hmm. red bone girl, yo. Yeah. Red bone, yellow no, bone, everything I, I bone. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the song? E I E I O. E I E I O. Are you light skin, yeah. huh? Are you, you light skin, skin, huh? Red bone, yellow red bone, bone, everything bone. bone. Everything bone. Are you light skin, huh? Why is there no black bone? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That, really? that's, why yo, is there that's, no that's, black bone? Because that's all it's bones, called... dog. Because we are all black. Black yeah, bones. But why is there no black bone? bone? Yes, exactly. It's all black, but there's just different tones. I'm black. Oh. Andrew's black. We're all black. I'm white bone. No. I'm really white bone you when you think about it. No, oh, no. Yeah. I'm a white bone ass dude. No, you can't. Yes, I am. Wait, You're not? just white. There's bone? not white bone. What color bones are? White. <laughs> That's a white if bone. If anything, you guys are appropriating me. Yeah. And my shit. <laughs> what? Yeah, bones you guys, are white. Yeah, yeah. you got you, you can't be like bone I'm bone. yellow bone, I'm red. Well, you have to talk yeah. to me first. Yeah. I gotta tell you how I feel about it. He's got a white skeleton. It's, That's it. Yeah. yeah. You gonna take his bones and make it your own, like not give him credit? That's a that's a good ass <laughs> point. I understand how it feels now. To be appropriated. Mm -hmm. How offended I are you, Andrew? Yo, yeah. yeah. As a white bone, <laughs> I'm I'm medium offended, bro. Yeah. I'm medium offended. You yellow, you yellow offended. I'm. <laughs> yeah. I'm yellow offended, bro. I really am. How you yellow offended? Talking about yellows being offended. You ever put out a comedy special <laughs> on Netflix? <laughs> 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 bro for real they'll lose their boba tea drinking minds <laughs> watching those things <laughs> yellow boba <laughs> the yellow yeah. bobas yeah. the yellow bobas go for it oh fuck anyway um guys we have some very big news the reason why we started this podcast and most of you probably have no clue what we're talking about right now maybe the patreon family does but um fifth biggest patreon in the world this fifth biggest patreon in the world no big deal yeah there's no big deal fuck humans in new york you pussies wait we <laughs> just beat them oh yeah we passed them up hey you know who's about to not be human in new york <laughs> 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 we're going to miami baby welcome it's official Welcome to yeah. Miami. Yeah. 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 You yeah. had no clue what the fuck yeah. you were doing. I had no idea. Why. I got that shit though. No I had that shit though. Fucking cool. Listen to yeah. the song. I thought, yo, I thought you were singing. 
The Yellow Bone song. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. I'm more of a hip hop fan than you, Taylor. No, I thought I thought Forty it, Indians were gonna break through that wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uniform I it was one dances. Of those songs from the wedding or something. Yeah. No. Hey, let me tell you something about the wedding, Taylor. You don't need to worry about it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that that hurt me. Too. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That really hurt me. Yeah, that yeah. ricochet. Nah, you caught yeah. me, dog. We ain't never had nah, this shit. We, probably we all corona, didn't but. have to worry about it because you had it already. Yeah, nah, you already nah, had nah. your stupid ass Hindu wedding. Nah, the one you Double, double, double. <laughs> I can hear the yeah. hurt in the Yeah, I'm really hurt. You can hear the hurt. Yeah. Hey, say your vows. Double, 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 double. I do double, double. Oh you can hear I'm the hurt. I'm fucking tired of it, bro. Alex is loving it, bro. Alex is loving it. Keep going. No, it just Alex pisses me crazy. off, dude. There's all these nah, farmers nah. out here starving. They can't wait to farm. And here you are getting married in your Hindu ceremonies. Yo, you're right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just saying it really fast in your life. <laughs> That's somebody doing an auction in him <laughs> that's a hindi auction <laughs> do i have a wife going once going twice. Going twice. i was just about to ask what we're bidding on <laughs> no but for real dude we're going to miami Yo, let's We're do going it. to Miami for three months. Have we told people this? I'm not exactly sure. We told we the did. patrons. We told the patrons, but I don't know if we told the rest of the family. Asshole Army, we're going to Miami for three months. Okay. Yep. February, Black History Month. Obviously, my white bone ass got to go down to Miami. Uh huh. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just get as far away but, from Harlem as you want. No, that's I, the anti gentrification move, really. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I'm trying to. Wait, you what? tired of white people? Taking Harlem over and it's not black anymore. Uh huh. We yeah. go in the opposite direction, Terry. Yep. We gentrifying south. Just, yes. just to be clear, I live in Tribeca. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be caught dead in Harlem. <laughs> Let's be honest. Actually, you might be. You might be caught dead in Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> I might be No, but uh, in all seriousness We're going to Miami, man We're very excited It's going to be a long trip for some of us Some of us are flying uh, Alright, and you're driving, right? And I think I'm driving with Miles Yeah So Miles is is uh, the newest member of our team You guys have all met Miles I believe that Miles and I are going to drive a U-Haul down Because I got to take down Sabi Oh. But I haven't fully committed because Mark keeps trying to convince me not to take the U-Haul with Miles. Yeah. Why? Just Why? to make Miles go alone? I'm not you exactly love leaving sure. Miles alone. I think dog. there's two things going on here. I'm not exactly <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, you know what? I got a theory too. I, think, okay. I got a theory too. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. We got some juicy gussies. <laughs> so, okay, I think there's two things. I think one theory is genuine altruism. I think he's considering like how miserable I'm going to be on the way down <laughs> and that it's uncomfortable to be in the bed of this truck. You can't recline the seats. This is one of the things he said. I think that that might be like 25% of it. 10. Max. Less. Maybe right. 10 Less than that. That's Maybe three. That's, three. Five. That's, the, that's the Christian. That's the, that's <laughs> yeah. the Christianity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Christianity uh-huh. coming out. Right. Mm-hmm. And then I think the other part is I think Mark was planning this kind of like mini vacation with his girl on the way down. Mm. Right. And he be I, doing that. And he knows if I go, we might not be stopping in Asheville. <laughs> <laughs> we might keep going. Hey, what a roll, Miles. Let's move. Sometimes you just need to get to Miami. That's a valid point. That's a valid now, here's the thing. I wouldn't make you keep going. It would just be me and Miles. Unless you yeah. want to go down with Miles. <laughs> no. I'm going to Asheville. I'm spending Friday in Asheville. I think Asheville's closed, Mark. <laughs> I think it's closed, bro. It's not. What you got to do is, bro, this is the move I'm telling you, you have your girl go on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Her own vacation for a weekend. Yeah. Did we start this podcast on yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We already did. But did we already start it? No. No. Well, we were talking about it earlier. Yeah. 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 I don't know when we started. We started somewhere. Yo. Guys, we start the park, uh, podcast where we start. All I'm trying <laughs> to say is if she wants to go to Asheville, you just fly her to Asheville. Uh, or I can drop her off even. You could drop her off. Yeah. Well, then you don't get the time alone at your house. <sighs> yeah, that's a good point. That's a nice time, yo. That's a <laughs> nice time. Oh, I had my girl down in Miami this weekend, bro. Son, I couldn't figure out why you were so happy on fight night. Like, Andrew was <laughs> happy, yo. And now I envy this man. He got a weekend at the house alone, bro. bro I watched so watch many out, shit, son. bro. I watched so many things that, like, she would never want to watch. Son. I just sat there enjoying myself, bro. Oh, bro. Sleeping late, letting the dog shit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? It is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
It is what it is. The only hard thing about your girl going on vacation is pretending you miss her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah right? Taylor, Taylor, come yeah, on, don't be tight. I know, Taylor's I like, they gonna her, hear bro. this shit. <laughs> because if she didn't call you, would you be worried? Yeah, I'd be nah, very I'd, worried. I'd be, I'd be worried and I'd be jealous as fuck. I just need to make sure that she miss me more than I miss her. Yeah. She's not, if she's in Miami, she's not gonna miss you as much. Mm. As you would think. Yeah. But she wasn't <laughs> home alone watching Your Honor on a Showtime On Demand. <laughs> <laughs> episode after episode. Uh. And there was nobody all. going, it's time to go to bed. Because it's just <laughs> me. No bedtime. <laughs> no bedtime. I was up till 2 in the morning last night. <laughs> that is no okay. responsibility. I pulled a slick one. I got the cleaning lady to come this morning. Oh, Bow. Oh. Movie viral. <laughs> Didn't tell my girl. <laughs> <laughs> she comes back, right? House the house is spotless. spotless. And I fucked up a couple things without her knowing. Mm. So Wait, like what the, do you mean? the cleaning lady cleaned it beautiful. Yeah. But I'm like, this is a little too beautiful. <laughs> so oh. I just shaved. I left some shaving. It's in like the thing. cheating and getting 100 on a test. You got to get a couple wrong. You got to oh, get a 92. Yeah, 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 you don't get yeah, suspicious. Yeah. So I got 92. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing, bro. There you go. The bed was made. <laughs> oh, son. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. So hold on. Yeah. So guys, yo, 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 yo. Can we not... Can you not? <laughs> yeah. We're trying to enjoy a thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to explain. I'm going to hear this when I get home no, already. We're going to explain to her. We're going to explain to her. I love my girl. I miss my girl. Well, my She's heart. the most amazing. Yeah. There were certain things that were very tricky for me yeah. this week. We ran out of paper towel. Oh, God. So Travis, that's dude. what we did. Oh, Travis, my goodness. It's, if you run out of paper towel, things get difficult. And what happened? What'd you, what, how'd you... How'd you I what just start using toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Kleenex, that's all. Kleenex is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta get they that. Don't. Kleenex yeah. works. You got to get that Amazon $35, so they'll do same day. Oh, that's fire. That's I, I should have pulled that off. That's the but key. there was things that were tricky. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That, we worked out. Everything's fine now. Yeah, I saw you posting about it. You had to close cabinets and stuff. I was closing yeah. cabinets. Yeah. All by my, I never had to do that before. Yeah. Does your man do that? Yeah. He closes cabinets? Whoa. That is Whoa. that is big. Whoa. You're dating a I'm feminist. I love this guy more and more. Dog. That's, that's a feminist, bro. I'm a little concerned, bro. bro. Yeah. I'm a little concerned. That's that is with all due respect to your big dick boyfriend. Uh huh. That's very gay. Yeah. Why closing cabinets? Men are not yeah. supposed to close cabinets, bro. Why? Yeah. Because we're supposed to spread our. Uh... He definitely leaves other shit there to spread whatever you about to say. All right, I'm just saying we're <laughs> supposed to pee in a lot of different Taylor, areas. Taylor might be a bear. Whoa. Oh shit! Ooh. What does that mean? I, <laughs> I was like, "What does that mean?" A bear is a fat gay. Not a bear, then. <laughs> 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 what? What's the fake white? <laughs> a beard. A beard. Just, there you go. A beard. A, a there you go. Beard, you I know of, something with bro, gay and beard. D because her boyfriend had <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> so my man put the D in Wait, here. Did I spell that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I just have to throw it out there. You know, Capital you know. D. But point is, I was listening to this guy. There was this doctor, Dr. Huberman or some shit. And he said that men, we leave cabinets open yep. all over the place as a way of marking our territory. Mm -hmm. And that's why we pee in all different areas. Male dogs pee in all different areas. Female dogs, they'll just pee in one area. 100%. Women close cabinets. Bro. Yep. This is a real thing. Yeah. If some other guy comes to my apartment, he sees the cabinets open, he goes, oh, I'm not going to fuck with this guy. And that's 100%. it. Yeah. He knows that somebody's yeah. already there. Oh, some it's, guy's it's, already it's, here. It's, it's he understands. Yeah. It's his territory. Somebody I got to act split. accordingly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You got to make sure that people respect you. Come into my house. There's no cabinets open. Obviously, I'm not smashing my girl out to smithereens. Uh -huh. yeah. But if they are open, then you know what time it is. Yep. I'll so? be leaving a few things wide open. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whoa. Busting them shits wide open. Yeah, cereal. You know what I mean? Like that you know turd I mean? cutter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so, also means the cabinets you're talking about. What? Because he doesn't, like... No, I'm not going to explain this. Never mind. <laughs> what do you I'm mean? What do you mean, Joe? <laughs> I'm not going to entertain this. What do you mean? Because what cabinets are you talking about? Are you just talking about the kitchen cabinets? Kitchen, anywhere, the closet. Yeah. Just okay. leave shit Yo, around. You ever do I bathroom? Shit. You ever do bathroom? bathroom my you favorite open cabinet. That shit, leave One it. of my favorite cabinets to open and mm -hmm. leave open. Do we put down the toilet seat? No, that's a cabinet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not. A yes, cabinet. it is. It's a sideways it's a cabinet. cabinet. That's a sideways cabinet. No, that's a cabinet. Definitely, that's the biggest yeah. cabinet in that the shit fucking house. Gets me so pissed. Off. Why does it get pissed off? Just I'm look like at OCD it. low key. So what? The water cabinet. Out of order. That shit bothers me. Really? Yes. Oh well, maybe that's why he's so good in the crib. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. I'm just saying. We got a lot of respect for your man. 
But no, he needs to start leave leaving the, those he'll leave cabinets the door, open. He'll leave the closet door open. No, no, no. Don't don't try to fake it. Now you're trying Why to fake it. Why he leaves the closet door open? So he can come out that bitch one day. <laughs> <laughs> First of all. Wow. <laughs> wow. I will fight you for my man. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something, Taylor. You and me fight? You got that. <laughs> Yo, that's <laughs> a good that. question. Who wins in that fight? What do you got What? That. Yo, no, no, no. Oh, why is, is she fighting for her man? That's She's not here. Yo. So I need to back up. Hey, yo. No. Hey, yo. Yo. Hey, yo. Yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. That's Don't shit. Tell him to open some cabinets is right he? now. He's going to be listening to this shit just slamming things in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta fight his man battle. No, nah, that's not Ooh, cool. Yo. 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 You gotta fuck Akash up, yo. You yeah. gotta fuck Akash up on sight. Word on sight. Just who dick all he heard, all oh, he heard is your man gotta fuck Akash. That's all your man heard. <laughs> but <laughs> on sight, dick down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, split cheeks. Yeah. Get him. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> For real, Jet Blue, one ninety nine. Yep. <laughs> Down to Miami, living uh, a good life. We're going to Miami. Mm -hmm. We're going to Miami. You're not on JetBlue, though. Nope. nope. I'm on U-Haul. <laughs> First stop, yeah, Asheville. Kind of... Why are you driving for real? Yeah. I'm only going because kind of I got to take Sabi. I got to take my dog. Yeah. And I don't know if I could leave Miles That's with the dog thing. for the, the whole drive. Yeah. You don't trust Miles with the no, dog. No, I trust him, but like the dog could run around and maybe, you know, God forbid, you know, he crashes and fucks up some of the Can equipment. Can Sabi go on the Amtrak? <laughs> Say what? So I'll be going the Amtrak. You can oh. take an Amtrak and you get like a room in that bitch. Oh. Son, don't they have like He's dogs, the one about it. sleeping How can Alex pills? Not about it? He told me. They don't yeah. got like tranquilizers for the motherfuckers to just throw Hold it on, on the plane? Yeah. This Amtrak situation, I can get an Amtrak from New York and then go to Florida and I can take my dog in it? You could, but that shit is dumb long. But then how does the dog shit and pee? I think when you pull over, it pulls over for like yeah, five, ten stops. minutes at a time. I think. Every few hours? Every stop. It, it stays at a stop for certain times. And I'm sure there's certain stops where they'll stay longer. I got to look into it more because that so might be. There's a way. It's long. You could drive to Virginia if you have a car. Put your bitch. Hours. Alex told me about it. You put your car on the train, and then you get a sleeper, and then it just drops you off in Florida. Huh. All right. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Maybe we'll figure that shit out. Yeah, you can knows? do a 21 hour train ride. That's kind of lit. That's ill, dog. Penn Station to illest. Florida. Train? Oh, shit. I would do that, but I don't know where the dog poops. That's really the only reason why I would. <laughs> I mean, this they weekend, it was right on the floor. Train. You could just keep that shit going. Yeah, yeah but in my little cubicle? This is sick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Hogwarts, bro. I'm excited <laughs> for it. This is awesome. I think I'm going to do it. This shit yeah. feel mad Hogwarts, Hogwarts, right? It's super they Hogwarts. They with the trolley? Yeah. Dude, we got to do this. Motherfucker going to run right into a wall. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got to pull Asabi in like a little cage, like a little bird, like an owl, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Go full Hogwarts, bro. What was the name of his owl? At Hedwig? Hedwig. Act like I don't know, son. Yeah, bro. Act like I don't know. Fuck out of here. Nice with it. All right, guys, this is important, okay? We're doing a new thing with sponsors because we've got to liven it up for ourselves, man. It's got to be fun for us as well, all right? The other uh, day, I think this was a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. Akash read an ad for, who was it for? Calm. It was Calm. Shouts to Calm. And Miles forgot to fix Akash's reading of the ad. Okay. And it was particularly bad. It was so bad. Like particularly he could bad. Yeah. Like Mayweather would be like, dude. <laughs> I empathize with him now. A little bit. Yeah. So what we felt was that um, we have to do these ads in one take. That's what it's going to be. And if you fuck up, if you flub it, if you sound like an idiot, it is what it is. Okay. You got to find a way around it. You got to work this. Mm. All right. So from now on, it's one take hove with the ads. Mm. We both agree. A lot of pressure. No edits. A lot of pressure. Okay? There's a lot of pressure. Woo! A lot of people in the room watching. Everybody's watching. You got to read in public. We're back to elementary school. Okay? You should know these by heart. But we're going to start it right now with me. And here we go. What's up, everybody? Now, I know a lot of you guys out there are bald. Tough shit. But some of you out there are going bald. And we can stop this right now. I noticed it with myself, but look at my hair. Absolutely beautiful. I actually got to keep all my hair. Funny I mentioned keep because keeps is exactly what we're going to talk about. Yes, balding is a choice. A choice, my friends. You do not have to go bald. You can keep all the hair on your head, but you got to start now. Don't wait till it's too late. In some instances, your hair grows back. Mine did. 
Those little patches that were looking thin, it came back with the vengeance, all right? Keeps.com slash flagrant. Go get the magic. Keep all your fucking hair. Matter of fact, grow it back even stronger. You go right now and do that. Keeps.com slash flagrant, okay? This is what's going to happen. You're going to get your first month free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash flagrant. Now let's get back to the show. I murdered that one day. Nice, you got a big dude. ass TV, dog. This was great. Bro, it is what it is. Nah, yeah. I'm on my phone. All right, you got it. All right, all right, all right. She feel mad Indian. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Tell all right. Me, all right, go. Uh, all right, we're going to do a break. Okay. All right, we're going to do a break. One take. One take, see. One take. In the building. One take. You know what we got to talk about? What's Keto. That? Okay. Everybody trying to lose weight right now is doing it with one diet. That's a, Keto. That's and if you fact. are doing keto the best way to do it is with conscious keto it helps curb your cravings uh-huh. if you struggle see how i'm actually reading yeah. if you struggle <laughs> to control your hunger cravings keto shakes can help you feeling full for hours so you can concentrate on whatever life throws at you oh, it is shakes. satisfying it's delicious it's yeah. shakes it's ready to drink powders it's whatever you oh, want to do fire, it's bro. got the perfect macros to give you what you need it puts the you macros. in keto don't worry about doing all the fucking ratios yourself you're not indian you're not that good at math Do it easy. Go Conscious Keto. They have plenty of good flavors. They got chocolate peanut brownies, uh, dreamy, creamy cookies, chocolate chip cookies, and much, much more. And the best way to do it, if you are going to go on keto, go to www.myketoshake.com and use the coupon code FLAGRANT. Uh. That is www.myketoshake.com. Use the promo code flagrant, say 15%. Well, let's get back to the show. That was just fine. Not great, fine. That was good. You fucked up at the end yeah, a little yeah. bit, but then you fixed it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It was a good attempt. All right. Anyway, all right, let's talk about some shit, man, because this weekend we had a little super spreader event at the studio. Hell man. yeah, bro. Um, if we haven't taken out the entire comedy community with COVID uh, before, we definitely have now. We had, what, we have like, what, 30 people in here? Easily. Maybe 30 people, maybe a little bit more. Are we snitching on ourselves? I think it might be illegal. To do what? To have gatherings of that size. Can they prosecute us across state lines, Alex? Oh, (laughs) so allegedly we had that many people here. Allegedly, even though there's video proof of that shit. And that's why I said that we tested everyone like we did. We did test everyone. We did test everyone. We we tested them the same way that... You know, girls test us if we got STDs. They'd be like, you got STDs? Yo, you like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's it. And they ask when you're already inside. Yeah, well, if then that'd be a little late on them. Yeah. But all I got to say is this. I don't feel bad about this event. I've been thinking about it because... <laughs> I'll that's you how what. you know you didn't do anything wrong when you say, I've been thinking about it yeah. and now oh, I don't feel bad. I figured out a way to not feel bad about <laughs> it. I've been thinking and about a good justification yeah. for my behavior. Go yeah. ahead. And here's the justification. Yep. We've all had Corona. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. We decide to throw a party. We know that we cannot share Correct. that Corona with anybody else. Mm-hmm. Correct. Everybody else that agrees to come to that party Correct. is coming at their own risk. We Florida, baby. We are Florida. But all I'm saying is like, if they came to the party, that's very selfish of them. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's not our fault. Yeah. Yeah. We have already had Corona. No, we mm-hmm. were How dare you come to our event? Yeah. You're mad and yeah, Taylor. Spread corona. Yeah. yeah, Taylor. I don't know what yeah. the fuck you were thinking, Taylor. Yeah, it's very irresponsible. I come here every week. But, you're but you don't corona. have to get Corona. But that's because you know you can't get Corona from us. Now it's mad comics just showing up. You yeah. just know these people, exactly. these white folks. Yeah. Having a mad great time. white folks. Listening to music, watching the fight. Literally everybody that showed up to that party is a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, it, to, to put <laughs> lives at danger right now. Yeah. Especially with the Corona rates in New York. This is another reason why we have to leave. We have to go, man. We, we can't, can't be around these, these hooligans anymore. Yeah. Yo. Hooligans. Absolute hooligans. <laughs> Taylor, uh, is you know, we have to figure this out. We have to figure out. I almost out. told Taylor not to come into that. Yo, Charlamagne, like, <laughs> Charlamagne told her ass not to come in on the, on the breakfast club. She got almost fired. Yeah. And I get almost fired. Oh, for word? the super spreader event. Yeah. Charlamagne, who was in Mexico for two weeks, which is the Corona Capital of the Mundo, <laughs> was like, you got to be safe and not come in. Is that not true, Taylor? Yeah. You know that black women can't get corona. Thank you. 
black people in general. I'm black stupid. people can. Say no. <laughs> they can. Well, I'm not even from this planet, so it doesn't matter. Oh, my Thank you. God. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Honestly, that is absolutely crazy. Why? A little ginger cookie bone looking. <laughs> ginger cookie? <laughs> ginger snap bone. That's what you got to say. I'm white bone. You ginger snap no, bone. No, I'm brown sugar bone. You're brown sugar bone? Yeah. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like brown sugar bone. <laughs> anyway, we had this little parlay. Thank you guys, everybody who came. Uh, it, was it was great lit, to just yeah. hang with people again. It was great. So much fun. Everybody was so happy. Literally, everybody was ecstatic. Everybody was so happy. Dog. Just to get drunk. See people. Super See drunk? people. To, oh, my God. We, by the end, we were shotgunning beers. Andrew was gone, dog. <laughs> this fucking guy, Mark, almost sliced off his finger. He was poking into the can. Mark yeah. had a piece of the edible too. Oh, you uh, were that fucked up. Mark was yeah, gone. No, I never seen yeah, Mark. Yeah, Mark. Gone, Alex and I were just <laughs> looking at him. We we're like, "Yo, he's Mark so fucking gone. white, dude." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Mark is just element. so oh white. My God. He had his hair braided <laughs> like a fucking idiot. Hat on, element. just white, white claws, fuck, Bud Light. The guy had maybe twenty total beverages. All his people were the weirdos. All his people were there. He was getting super Florida with it. He was prepared. That's who we're gonna have to deal with in Florida. Real talk. Stuffing his pointer finger into a shredded Bud Light. Can. How else do you shotgun? What, like, you well, you to... don't have to do it to me. You're handing me this beer, and you've got blood dripping out of your finger, like you've been. <laughs> so you drank your blood. <laughs> 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 Yo, I know you no. What? No, what? but I gotta apologize to Mark though. Why? What happened? Thank you. I'm a true asshole. Like this motherfucker, he hits me the next day, and he's like, "Yo, what's up?" I'm like, "Yo, what's up? Are you good?" He's like, "Yeah, I'm just checking in on you, like making sure you got in all right." I'm like. Don't call me like I'm some bitch you just fucked the night before. Like, I just hung up on him. Like, I felt bad after. Yeah. But I was just looking out, bro. Just making sure everyone was safe. That was the gayest thing. I everyone had a good time. Damn, I'm the female. It didn't hit me up. Yeah. Bro, what did I, you I hear you in the good. background? There's a bunch of fucking <laughs> drawers closing and shit. <laughs> and <he was> calling. <laughs> hey, I'm just tightening up the apartment now, checking in on you. Is yeah. everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you safe, Al? <laughs> no, but I went in on him, and I was like, oh, that's just such a nice thing to but do. But why did you do that? Why were you concerned about Al? Because I was like, okay, I was, I, I didn't realize that I was drunk until I was leaving. Bro, you left and then came back. <laughs> Wait, what came back? You left and came back. You were blacked out. You left and you were trying to put my Spotify in so that the music could continue going because yeah. you were DJing the whole night. Nice guy, right? Nice Very nice. Yeah. And then you just changed the channel multiple out. times during the fight, this guy. Oh yeah, no, yeah, 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 someone yeah, yeah. stepped on it. Someone stepped on it. <laughs> no, nah, he did, did, nah, he did, did fuck too. it up, but it's yeah. okay. Uh, he had subtitles going, so we couldn't see any of their faces for like the first thirty minutes. <laughs> well, that's because we were playing. I think music. We can go no subs on a fight. Yeah, I think we know yeah, what it is. Yeah. He punched him in the face. We saw it. We got it. <laughs> you can read the commentary. No. So basically, you leave. <laughs> yeah. And then, like ten minutes later, all of a sudden, you come back, and the music starts popping again. Yeah. And we're like, Mark, why are you back? And then you didn't know. <laughs> just, Destiny, like, bro. Yeah, now we're doing it, bro. Destiny. It's Hogwarts, you know? Destiny. You ever teleport through a wall? And you're like, oh, I'm in a different place now. I was in Diagon Alley for a little bit. I, just, <laughs> I had to pop Not back with the boys. Were. <laughs> what? You were fucked. Alex didn't sleep at all. I think he, Alex said he went out to a bunch of Corona hotspots yeah. with Wheezy the night before until yeah. seven. Nice. So I think Al maybe said three words the entire time. Oh, Al yeah. barely talked, dog. Barely talked. Barely. Which, it's you were too in a many rough white situation. people. It was a <laughs> also, Al <laughs> fucked up because I asked him if he invited Wheezy. I was like, yo, do you invite Wheezy? You should invite Wheezy. And he's mm. like, yeah, yeah, I invited her. And then I text Wheezy a little bit. I was like, yo, you coming tonight? She's like, to what? <laughs> I'm like, the fucking fight. And then, and he, act, said and he, then he asked me you. again, and I was like, yeah, I invited her after you reminded me to invite her. <laughs> this guy lies in deflections, bro. bro. Bruh, it's, so it's, yeah, it's the same type of invite. You got to stop lying, bro. It's the same yeah. type of invite. You got to Why'd you double line? check my invite? Because Whoa. I knew you were a liar See? and a deflector. Nah, that's you. I yeah. knew you were that's a liar. That's your fault. You want to know, know why I honestly Macro did? Macro manager. Do you want to know why I honestly did? What? I honestly, I texted your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I texted your mom and I go, do you really think that he invited Weezy? <laughs> And she said, he's a liar. Yeah. And what else? And a deflector. And a uh -huh. charlatan. And a charlatan. Yeah. And a fraud. You know, she'd be yeah. using big words. Yeah, and she, all, she said, she, he's a hijo puta. She said <laughs> nah, that. Nah, she, she did say that. Nah, she would never she say said, that about hijo puta. 
Uh-huh. That's what she did. <laughs> nah, she, she did she with Pequeño Pipi. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> she said that too. I was like, too much information. <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, I knew you'd lied and deflected. I yep. can tell when you're lying and deflecting. He mm-hmm. talked to you when you were taking a shit, right? About Weezy. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I just want to say it's really cool you're putting this event yeah. together. Yeah. And Bro. it's awesome. And you know, I just want to let you know Weezy <laughs> might not be coming. Nah, Lies and deflections, she bro. She couldn't make it. She told it's me she couldn't make stop. it. It's nonstop. It's like she was there. That's what an asshole you are. What are you talking about? She came, bro. I just figured You don't I, remember her at the party? Yo, Al was gone, bro. Al, you were fucking nah, destroyed. Nah, I nah. also know when Al is lying now. I just saw his tell. What does his tell? He, she came, man, and then he adjusted his hat. Oh, That's wow. That's a tell, bro. Oh, you lying. No, but shit. she didn't well, come. Mind your hat when you lie I'm time. not the one lying. Mind yeah. your hat when you lying and deflecting <laughs> next time. Yo, yeah, I touched you know my hat when they lie. I know. Fucking liar, bro. Because he's capping, bro. You're a liar, dude. Literally capping. Yep. Literally. Yo, Just the cap. That's right. You know, dog. Now we know. I hope your girl listening right now. Mm. <laughs> You're not getting away with nothing anymore. Yeah. <laughs> You're not getting away with nothing anymore, Al. I know yeah. that you got some other secrets in there. Done. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's a beautiful lies. shirt, though. What's that? Oh my god! Oh, that's a deflection. Yeah, that's a deflection. That's a lie. He said that's a beautiful shirt. Yeah, jamming his half down. That means he hates your shirt. No, no, no. This is gonna be eighty percent of your wardrobe in a week. Yo, yo, that's just fly. That's just fly. I'm giving it to you. I was like, damn, you brought it out too early with the heat. Yo, here's how adept he is at deflecting. Okay. He knew we'd be like, oh, you're lying. And now he adeptly deflecting away from his own line. So now yeah. when he does son, you nice at it, yo. You <laughs> nice at it. Straight on the clothes, yeah. son. It's you got to cop him at the You got to cop him at the clothes, Unbelievable. This motherfucker, dude. How dare you, But it is fly, though. No, see? It's a fly shirt. Deflection. Deflection. But we could all admit. But you adept at it, so you're going to stick with it. Deflection. But that shirt, Akash is wearing. He needs to burn that shit. Which one was he wearing? The one with the fucking burgers and hot dogs on it to the fucking party. Sam, oh, did I make funny for that when I saw you? I no. think, I think oh. everybody did at some point. In I'm going to wear it again as soon as we get to Miami. That You're going to have another one. That's worse than the like Tim's, yo. What an immigrant will wear to an American white party. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hell yeah. <laughs> double, double, double. What type of food is this? <laughs> Hell yeah. He had the I'm helmet, gonna hunt the the helmet with the two double. beers on the side. <laughs> I can't eat a hamburger. Finger. I might as well wear it. I love sports and culture. I'm ready for the beer I love your culture. It's like Borat. It's like watching Borat. Right, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> that shirt gonna get worn he's next like, week. He's like, yeah, Damn, yeah, bro. yeah. You really gonna let Al hot potato that shit up in his <laughs> That motherfucker hot potato juice, hey, bro. He's adept at lies and deflection. But you can't let him he hot potato. He deflected my shirt and lying like it ain't fire. Nah, that, <laughs> that shit was nah, trash. That shit is a little fire. trash. Nah, it's it's juvenile, fire. bro. You not six. Son. You not six. Nah, we should burn I the shirt and put it on reels. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's real? The, the Instagram, Instagram shit? shit? But why? Yeah, what you don't stop do? shaking your so cheeks out of fear rip. that we're going to bring this back on you? <laughs> yo, <laughs> Look how he hunched up. Look at his posture like this. <laughs> Look at his posture like, like this. <laughs> oh, man. R.I.P. Al and I used to be friends until he told me my shirt was trash. Nah, that yeah. shirt was trash. Yo, R.I.P. Larry King, bro. I was, yo, this is how you know Mark was really going Deflection. through it this week. See how Al did that? Mm-hmm. See how Al did that? This is how you know, you know, this is how you know Mark was so jealous of my weekend alone. <laughs> Yo, I texted him. I was like, bro, I'm just doing whatever I want to do right now. And he goes, he goes, man, he just rifles off mad things that he wishes he could be doing. He goes, yeah, just like scrolling forever and nobody says anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to watch TikToks in peace, okay? <laughs> Pretty man, face with a big bank, okay? He off like six things. And I was like, I was like, nah, but like, that shit kind of sound lit. I'm going to do that for the next hour. Fuck it. You got right? a to-do list now. Bro, I had a to-do Yo, list, dude. Yeah. Mark just gave you a to do this. Nah, I, so like, I like Marcos, when he's on vacation. Oh, Marcos, Marcos, yeah. Marcos, hot take. Um, fuck Larry King, though. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I was like, bro, why? And he goes, I don't know. I'm just seeing all these like interviews. He seems kind of like a douche. And I go, I go, I will say one thing. His shoulders annoy me. Like his <laughs> shoulders are just always up like this. And then Mark goes, "Yeah, bro, that's why he wears suspenders to keep him down." <laughs> yeah, that, was funny. that his shoulders are literally the tallest part of his body. <laughs> it's true. He was just like this. didn't look like God been trying to drag him up to heaven. For the <laughs> last ten years. Boy, he's in he the just, claw, bro. Yeah, he he's in the claw game, bro. <laughs> but but it came out right with uh, Larry King. So he died, and obviously everybody posted like how yeah. amazing he was yeah. and that kind of shit. And like, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Larry King is one of those people where like, I'm trying to think what it's akin to. Um, you ever have any like unchecked greatness because it's such an institution? Mm, SNL. 
Yeah, but like now we recognize that it's not funny, right? Mm-hmm. But it's like there was there was a time, I guess, where like Larry King was just that dude. And I've never watched a Larry King interview. Never in my life. But I've said out of my mouth, like, oh, yeah, Larry King, that's the GOAT. Yeah. But why? I never watched him be the GOAT. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that there were certain times that were, there were people, there were figures that were just so prominent, you assume they had to be great because they were in this position. And Barbara must Walters. Be. Barbara Walters, yeah. mm. right? Got bodied by Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> zip zip bitch <laughs> nothing she could do yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Zip, zip. Yeah, nothing she could do she was like yo you hit women he's like yup <laughs> keep then, talking see what happens no, no he didn't say that <laughs> no. that's the vibe Damn, that's the energy yeah, get rid energy. of that speech impediment for you <laughs> <laughs> knock some shit back into you yeah. so this this dude Pierce Morgan Right, yeah. who's kind of become like a like a right wing troll He's a little a troll, bit, yeah. In his his career, um, he basically said that like Larry King trashed his show when Pierce replaced Larry. Should we read the tweet? Yeah, let's read the tweet if we yeah, have the exact tweet. But he kind of came for Larry, like- but he came for Larry and justified it by what Larry said about him. Yeah. But here's my thing: if you watch Larry King's interviews, he don't give a fuck, bro. So I don't think Larry would take it personally in his death if people didn't give a fuck and they said how they really felt. I mm. just didn't like that he made somebody else's death about him. Yeah. So here's the here's the tweet. I can read it. If he was like, yo, shout to Larry, you're kind of an asshole to everybody, but you know, it is what it is. I'd be like, you don't need to do that. But it ain't about you, at least. This is all about him. Okay, I'm with you on that. I do think that's selfish, but I also do think that's what human beings do. Is like when anybody dies, you post a picture of you and that person. Yeah. You know, as if like you need an excuse to put on your timeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, so the tweet is Larry King was a hero of mine until we fell out after I replaced him at CNN. And he said, my show is like watching your mother in law go over a cliff in your new Bentley. He married eight times. So a mother in law expert. That's kind of funny. (laughs) But he was a brilliant broadcaster and a masterful TV interviewer. The whole thing is just let me get attention. He's just a child acting out. Yeah, he wants Mm. some attention, but he also Mm. wanted to throw a shot. Yeah. But he did it in a clever way. It's a funny joke. Yeah. But also, like, if you're posting about someone's passing with you in it, like, are you also just not trying to get attention in the first place? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Wait, 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 yeah. Wait. Like, let's say Larry King dies. He has this picture yeah. with him. He has like a relationship with Larry King, and he just goes, "R.I.P. to one of the best. Love this guy." Like, you're getting attention regardless. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's that's what I was saying. Yeah. It's like yeah, that's, that's what true. we do now. You it's always... an attention play either way. Exactly. So he just like leaned into it. I don't hate this. I understand Pierce is like a troll and I get what he's trying to do. He's hateable for other shit too. Yes. Yeah. And he wasn't always this way, no. which is kind of funny. I think he's him losing this. his CNN show is what made him. It flipped him. Yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah. fuck it. I, I got to get attention he's somehow. He's like, if I y'all hate me merit. already, yeah. I might as well lean into the hate. Yeah. And I, these I like people. The play. What's that? I like the play. It's like. You're bigging them up. You're also keeping it real. Yeah. And making it a little funny. So it's like, I think if he would have just like posted like all love, people would be like, ah, you corny. You wasn't keeping that energy when, yeah. you know. But, but that's now. interesting that like now he has become a prisoner of his character. Yeah. Like he can't even be genuine now because they mm. don't expect him to and be genuine. And the human being version of that would be, hey, we, in, we had a bit of a falling out, but you can't deny this guy's greatness as a broadcaster. Right. Interviewer. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace. We had our differences, but you were great at what you did, or whatever. Yeah. This is clearly exactly what you said. He is trapped in his own character. He can't yeah, get out of yeah. it. He has to stay in character to mourn somebody. Mm. Yeah, but I'm okay with it just because I know what type of dude Larry King was. Like, Larry yeah. King could be a douchebag, That's too. a valid point. So it's like, yeah, the same energy is kept in life and death. I I'm s- not that man. Yeah. If, if it's Mother Teresa, then it might be a little bit... Um, of a douche move. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? If you're taking care, I don't even really know much about Mother Teresa, but she's in a, she's Larry King. That's that's <laughs> exactly what I'm talking about. We don't know about Mother Teresa. What if she does Diana some fuck is shit? another one that I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah. Princess yeah. Diane also. Yeah. Right, we sure. like you because you're cute. You're the AOC of the royal family. Oh, shit. <laughs> right? Shots fired. I'm just saying, I'm not shots fired. I'm just saying, like, if she was Bustardo, yeah. would we care? Probably a little bit. We don't care uh, about Fergie. Wait, what? Remember in there are like a Fergie one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, a redheaded. Yeah. Something about whales. Yeah. yeah something Princess of Wales. Wales or some shit. Yeah. There's some redheaded royal that we don't give a flying I fuck about. You're about the lady lumps girl. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. I'm we just saying there's a Fergie, there's shit? a royal, but she's kind of bustardo, so nobody cares. And Princess Diana was a piece. Mm-hmm. So they cared about everything she did. She mm-hmm. ran a foot race and won. So people are like, oh my God, this is a 
most athletic royal ever. Like, she also like saved a kid who was drowning or some shit like is that. that. She like, jumped real? in the water. What is you mean? She, I've done that. What? No, you haven't. <laughs> I saved my boy. What do you mean? When I was young, he jumped in the water. Michael, his kid. Somebody yeah, threw but, him in the water, actually, and he couldn't swim. So I saved his ass. Big fucking deal. You're supposed to do that. You want a pat on the back? <laughs> you want to do something special? Save yourself when you're drowning. Yeah, that's hard to do, bro. That shit is lit. Yeah, best waves of all time. <laughs> best waves of the past two or three years. Almost died. <laughs> nah, but in all seriousness, I don't know. This is one of these things where we just got to love someone because we're supposed to. Yeah, we just <clears throat> take everybody's word for it. What did she do? What did Diana do? She, I, I give her this. She wanted to break away from the royal family. Yeah. She was like, I'm not going to do this shit. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's an institution, a big one. Yeah. You're going to get a lot of shit for that. Breaking that's up what's the crazy, family. though. She tried to do it, and they loved her for it. But then, what's this other chick? Harry. Harry yeah, and Megan. They do and it, Meghan and everyone, everyone hates her for it. Because she's black. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a simp. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's a shame, bro. Yeah. Royal simp? Yeah, he closes all the cabinets, bro. I mean, yeah. But they out here getting money. They are getting money. So but maybe... They, look, they know, have like, money. Like, yeah, they're but the it's, family. But it's that's either, a good point. It's either live on an allowance. <laughs> no, that's a and, great point. It's either live on an allowance and have to do all their rules, or let's go out here and get our own money and we can be free. I mean, what are the rules, Al? Like, walk There's down mad the street rules. once a year? Nah, yeah, she's, not allowed, love, she's like, not allowed to, like, speak out. Like, there's... They have There's to like wear a nail a color you're lotion. not allowed to have. Yeah. Like not that that's a big deal, but they get that exact with rules. Maybe they have a that good rule point. in and of itself. Who gives a fuck? But there's so many rules. They get all the way down to like you're not allowed to have this nail color, this nail type, or some shit. And like you have that. to represent like, the family and go to like all these banquets depth. of people oh, like they don't label. even care about and shit like that. Like they mm. have roles and shit that they got to do. They're like, yo, fuck that. Let's just get out here. We can live free, say whatever the fuck we want, and make our own money. But also, mm. I respect that. Yeah. Low key, I respect that. Fuck the rules, man. Yeah. There's nothing that's more valuable than freedom. Facts. So no, that is. Anybody know that? Are they still the king and queen? <laughs> <laughs> what are they? King and queen? But what are they? Say what? The royal, whatever royal they family. are. But since they're stepping out, is someone else coming in? No. Nah. No, nah, they don't recruit. Oh. But they they just like, lose, like they just like lose their place in line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was dumb low in he line. He wasn't anyway. gonna be king anyway. Yeah. yeah. So th there's no chance for him to be king, really, unless his brother got murked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think that I like the move. Son. The freedom, bro. There's yeah. no fucking price on that whatsoever. I think if he was the oldest, they ain't leaving. Because as yeah. soon as grandma got to die at some point, and then dad going to die, and then we're king of fucking England. Yeah. But this kid she is going to be prince forever. She is holding on for it. Yeah, like she's she holding really on. She's not gone, man. <laughs> I don't think so. She's not gone. She might be one of them lizard people. But what? Yeah. <laughs> but would you want to be king of England? You know, there's no responsibility. You just yeah, are king. Why not? That's lit. It was fun. <clears throat> I don't know. Like I'm just. I don't know. I don't think so. Like I would rather the responsibility. Give me the responsibility. If I got to do all this other fuck shit, like not wear a certain color jacket and put a fucking bonnet in my wife's head every time we go to this event and you wear those stupid hats and shit. Like if I got to do all this nonsense, I want some responsibility. I bet there's a lot I'm more not a rules. show pony. I bet there's a lot more rules for the women than the men. I bet dudes be doing like I'm the king. What you really finna tell me? I think they could tell you a lot if there's all these rules. Yeah, but I'm king. So well, they suck my king it up rules. a little bit. That's, have you seen them king it up? There's no king yet. It's the queen. So she going to follow all the rules. You know what I mean? But the king, he ain't give a fuck. I'm just saying. You're telling bro. me nothing, bro. Nah. I need responsibility, bro. Don't give me all these rules without responsibility. So would you rather be like king of England or like king of Saudi Arabia or some shit? President of the United Saudi States of America, Arabia. 2032. Ooh. <laughs> king of Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Yeah, that's lit. That's, 100%. You do whatever the fuck whatever you want. Whatever you want, bro. Yeah. Let's go. A journalist writes some fuck shit about you. Bang. Click, bye, click. bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Think about that shit. A couple of journalists would be gone that we know. <laughs> <laughs> gone. <laughs> gone. I'm just saying, dude, that is a little bit more enticing to me Yeah. than being king of England. Like, let's say... Uh, eh. What are you yeah. doing? You're not even doing like I imagine like the royal family in England back in the day was very valuable and helpful to the people. You know, they probably were part of like, uh, you know, movements to maybe liberate and empower them in some ways. You know, I know they try to stay apolitical, but sometimes like the royal family, I think like during the Franco era in Spain was was crucial in like getting Spain out of this sort of like a tyrannical like fascist regime i'm pretty sure mm -hmm. and um so they're like beloved in that way mm. right. but now you can't even do that shit man fuck that yeah it seems not worth it yeah why would you i think king is great king you do whatever the fuck you want to you're not telling me nothing oh there's rules from other kings all right well i'm the new king 
Let's assume you do have to play by those rules. Then it might be a little restrictive. Bro, what could I a think king? It's easier for him because he's religious. Ooh. Ah, so you already play by rules. Interesting, perhaps. What yeah. does a king do? What does a king in England do that a rich person in America couldn't do? Yeah. Nothing, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can't speak out. Son, you're not even the richest. <laughs> yeah, it's true. No, you can't speak out. <laughs> yeah. Bro, the, the, you're not even the richest person in your country. J.K. Yeah. Rowling got more money than you. Yeah, it's just embarrassing, bro. Think I, about I, that. I, but I mean, the heads aren't always the richest. The president isn't the richest. Yeah, but if you're the king, yeah, but we're talking about like king. We're monarch, not talking bro. about president. Like, if you're king forever, you gotta got to have it, bro. You got to have it ready to go at any <laughs> point in time. You can't have this little writer chick, you know, shitting on you, yeah. stunting. With those fire ass Buying books. your house. Yeah. Yeah. She might just buy your <laughs> TV house. Show yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, she could film a movie in there easy, though. Easy. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, it just seems to me it's like, it's like a shitty job. <laughs> it's a shitty job being king of England. Would anybody really want? I don't blame this chick for breaking away from the family. It makes perfect sense. I don't blame Diana. I don't blame none of them. Yep. What a fucking idiot. And I see why they want to. It makes perfect sense. Why would anybody still want to do it? They don't need a king. England doesn't need a king. Nobody in that family needs to do it. And if anyone saw the Prince's Diaries, you could see how strict it is. Exactly. Yep. Uh -huh. it's, like, it's like getting guys. chosen. <laughs> boyfriend probably watching that shit right now. Oh <laughs> 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 wow. Yo, it's jokes. It's jokes. <laughs> I love your boyfriend. <laughs> you know it's jokes. Bro. Yo, but we were talking about the fight party, but didn't discuss any of the fights. Oh, yeah. We got to talk about the fight. Yeah. Guys, very good news. Very good news and very exciting news. We're coming back to stand up, baby. That's right. We are coming back. Uh, we just booked a bunch of shows right now. Uh, we have two up on the website. Uh, right now, there's Salt Lake City. We're going to come back to Salt Lake City. All those shows are sold out immediately. I don't know how the fuck that happened because we didn't even talk about them, but that is very exciting. And then we're also coming to Columbus, and that will be March, uh, I believe it's 12th and 13th. March 12th and 13th. So we'll be there. Get those tickets while they're still available. Those are going to go very quickly. Guys, we're very excited. We have a bunch more dates to show you. We also have a bunch more make goods to do. I know we had to cancel some past, so we're going to fix those. But this is awesome. Very excited to get back on stage. And also Miami, we're going to be doing some shows in that area regularly. So we'll keep you informed about that. I'll probably start up the second or third week of February. Very exciting times. Uh, also, my guy Akash Singh. Has got some shows coming oh, up. He's going to tell you about them. shit. We back. First of all, I completely forgot I had this show. Was supposed to do a show in Providence, Rhode Island, but somebody here, I'm not going to name names, gave corona to everybody in the studio. Hey. Who was it? You guys figure it out. So that show has been rescheduled to February 5th and 6th. Comedy Connection in Providence, Rhode Island. If you already got tickets for my previous show, that is the new date. If you haven't bought tickets yet, you still got a week and a half. So do that. Also, I am going to Helium in Philadelphia. Guys, both our football teams suck. Let's talk about it at Helium, March 4th through the 6th, Philadelphia Helium Comedy Club. And I'm going to be at Helium, Helium in St. Louis, March 18th through the 20th. That's Thursday through Saturday. Guys, bring that ass out. AkashSing.com for tickets. Big Desi Energy. We still rolling. Now let's get back to the That shit was sad twice. Yeah. I, was, I was so, I was happy. His face was, I was so his happy. his face yeah. was so priceless. What happened? Your mouth was open I for at least, at least 10 minutes. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. Let's start, <laughs> let's really talk about it. Yeah. Conor McGregor, I don't think Conor McGregor wants it anymore. Mm. Yeah. I think it's over. And I think if he has to fight elite competition or, uh, People who are hungry, he will lose continually because he's not going to dig deep anymore to do it. And why should he is $100 million? Anybody yeah. with that type of money shouldn't be fighting. You have to be literally crazy. You have to have a psychotic desire for attention to be worth $100 million and want to continue fighting. Floyd Mayweather has that. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. also the most skilled athlete that we've ever seen in terms of their discipline. So he can get away with it. But like once you have a hundred million dollars, the drive to fight, to put yourself at risk when you have a beautiful family at home, a wife, mm -hmm. a lifestyle. You did everything you ever wanted to do. You've accomplished everything you ever wanted. The only reason you have to continue fighting is because you are addicted to the attention. And I don't know if Mayweather is not Mayweather. I don't know if McGregor is. Mayweather, yes. Mm. But I don't think McGregor is. Mm-hmm. 
I, I truly don't think he is. I think he's a little bit more self-actualized than Mayweather. And I think he likes the attention. Don't get me wrong. But even in the way that he was like talking to Dustin, he almost like liked him. He was almost like happy for Dustin's victory. It was a different Connor, it seemed like. Just yeah. Mad friendly. Yeah. Mad whatever. And, and you should be friendly when you're worth $100 million. You should want Dustin's uh, hot sauce business to be successful. You should think Dustin is a good family man and like uh, has this charity that's really trying to help disenfranchised people. Like you should want that. When you have all that money, you should want to help people. But you shouldn't be in the business of knocking them unconscious. Right. <laughs> you don't have, you need to be hungry. You need to be starving. Yeah. Dustin is fine financially, I assume, but he's starving. When you saw him in there, that was a starving fucking dog. Apparently, he said some shit after the fight like, I don't even want to yeah. fight anymore. But I'm damn I'm good at so it. I'm just so fucking good at it. Yeah, I'm a dog. I think it's he's a fucking said. dog. Yeah. And he could say that he doesn't like it. I think what he didn't like, and he kind of expounded on that a little bit, he said uh, he didn't like the two weeks of like quarantine in the hotel. Okay. Mm. I think McGregor was brilliant just renting the yacht. Because yeah. now you're not locked in a fucking hotel room for two weeks. You're mm. like enjoying he had this massive yacht that he's staying out that was right in front of what looked like the facility. Mm. So like you're basically outside. You're mm. hanging out. You're doing yeah. whatever you want to do. You're not in a hotel room like Dustin and was. He has a fire flex too. You're walking up to the venue, you see this massive yacht, you're like, oh fuck. Also, man. imagine it's right outside the window from Dustin. Yeah, I gotta fight mm. that guy. You gotta fight that one. Yeah. But you know what? That's motivation for Dustin. Yeah, that's yeah. what I would yeah. think. I would think it's like I'm gonna fuck this guy up. Fuck Bro, you. and listen, Dustin is no slouch, don't get me wrong. But Connor, I, I truly think you reach some sort of financial threshold where it is not worth it. You get punched in the face a few times when you have a hundred million and you're like, What am I doing? So, well, I wanna remember what my kids tell me. I wanna remember it. Uh, he might not after Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. I mean, there will there will come a time if football continues to grow in popularity and they start making more and more and more money where you will see football players, and it's already started to happen. It's already started. But you will see more and more football players retire. Right now, it's hard for them to accumulate that type of fuck you wealth mm -hmm. in, in, in a short span, especially uh, you know certain positions that don't get paid really that much. Yeah. Like, I'm, what is the top lineman getting paid? 70 for like six years or whatever. So you're look, it's really good money. Don't get me wrong, but you got to put your body through punishment for six years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And once they start making that fuck you money, yeah. you're going to see short careers, man, in and out. Mm -hmm. This is not worth it. I'm telling you, man, it is, you can't be worth that amount of money and still maintain your success level unless you have a serious addiction to attention. Yeah. I agree with you. Something in Connor has definitely changed. Mm. Like, um, he used to be the king of the trolling shit. Yeah. Like, he should be eating away at this whole Logan Paul situation. Like, they could have been going back I mean, and Jake forth, Paul. making Jake Paul, Jake Paul whatever, yeah, yeah. and make the shit super interesting. But you can tell his responses to those videos were, oh, hey, here's a video of me with my kid and we, we with my family. Like, you see what matters to him now? And when he was in that ring, like, I told Akash this right in the beginning of the fight. I was like, yo, he's not fighting with confidence. Yep. He's not fighting where it's like he knows he can level a motherfucker out with his jab. Like, he was fighting a little scared. Yeah. And it's like, it's not the same guy anymore. It's not the same yeah. guy. And I'll be honest, I don't think he's a do as dominant at this weight class. Mm. I think that he is, his competitive advantage is 145 pounds. He is incredibly powerful at 145 pounds. Cannot take his punch at 145 pounds. At 155, guys start being able to take his punch, yeah. especially the bigger 155 pounders. Right. And he doesn't have the gas tank to go long enough to get that decision. Right. Mm. So his competitive advantage was lights out. You're going to sleep. He sleeps guys at 145, no problem. Smaller 155ers, maybe he sleeps them. Mm -hmm. But if he even tried to go up to 170, you're mm. not sleep. Look what look what he did to uh, Nate Diaz. Now he has an amazing chin. He knocks him down a bunch, but you're not putting him to sleep. Mm -hmm. It's what not is, lights out. What's Nate Diaz's weight? He's 155 to 170, okay. but Nate will fight comfortably at 170. He's a big 155. -er, okay. Right. So now he doesn't have this competitive advantage, and he doesn't have the cardio to take him into those later rounds. And then seeing what happened with Dustin, like he landed a couple shots. I think he had Dustin hurt once, but he didn't realize yeah. it. Yeah. There was a time where he had to hurt. Yeah, he, had think, a, he had a left that hit him good. And I think Dustin even said afterwards, he hit me with one shot that was hard, and if he followed up, I could have been in trouble. Mm. But I just don't think he fucking needs it anymore. Yeah. yeah. And people talk about the lower leg kick, which seems to be a, a, a trend now in MMA. I don't know if you realize. To I like, saw it with Izzy. Yeah, Izzy did it against Paolo Costa. Even before that, he did Izzy's it with teammate uh, with the Romero. Thigh. Yep, the thigh. 
But uh, Izzy's teammate, uh, Volkanovsky, mm -hmm. did it against Max Holloway in mm -hmm. their first fight. And really stopped Max Holloway. And it's a way to mitigate boxers and guys who come straight forward. Right. Because in order to come straight forward, you got to put a little pressure on that front leg. Yeah. And if they're sitting down on that front leg, they can't check it yeah. Yeah. as easily, especially guys who have a really good jab. Mm. You're stomping that jab. And if you're fucking cracking away, Dustin uh, uh, Poirier said it as well, but uh, Justin Gaethje said it when he was fighting Khabib. He goes, if I had him almost hurt and out of here, you're like, what? What are you talking about? But what he's referring to is those leg kicks. Mm -hmm. If you land a few leg kicks, Gaethje said is like, if I land four or five leg kicks, you can't move. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you're a ground guy. Yeah. Like it's hard to go and like take shots and get takedowns mm -hmm. if your legs are compromised. If you can't jump off that leg or lunge off that leg. That yeah. was my question is how do you defend against that? Like, yeah. I mean, that's what everybody's Oh, the saying. leg kick? Yeah. What you do is, it, it's still painful. Instead of letting him kick you on the, like, muscular part of your calf, mm -hmm. you check what it called check the kick. So you turn your foot out so it goes shin on shin. Uh, and both of you hit each other's shins, and you're both like, fuck. Yeah. I don't want to go shin on shin. And you might think twice shin. if that happens twice. 100%. And you might be like, ah, I don't want to do that again. 100, 100%. And I think I'm, in my memory, I'm thinking back, Izzy will do that. Like yeah, he'll turn it out. When we would, when we would like, uh, you know, like you know, your fake um, box with your friends, not hitting in the face. But remember, you do like body shots or like shoulder shots. You mm -hmm. ever like do that with your buddies? Mm -hmm. uh, what I would do sometimes is I would uh, stick an elbow out. Right, we're not punching the face, but I just go like this with my elbow. If anybody's watching video, you can probably see it. And all it takes is your buddy <laughs> punching you in your elbow once. <laughs> You're just punching bone before they start realizing, oh, I don't want to. Yeah, that's not fun anymore. That's not fun <laughs> at all. I need to be. I'm not throwing hard punches. Yeah. It can really hurt my hand. Yeah. Same effect yeah. can happen with the checks. So Connor can regroup and he can like learn how to like check a kick better. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just don't think it's worth it for him. I mm -hmm. was hoping he would do well because it'd be cool to see happy Connor fighting well. But yeah, as soon as I saw he's all yeah. happy, you're like, yo, I don't think he's bro. Got he, he's not insecure enough. <laughs> what he's do you mean? he is too confident in who he at, is as a person yeah. and a man. Yeah, he has the confidence to exist. He said in the press conference, there's a really interesting point where he goes, uh, uh, the weird part is, uh, you know, I know I lost, but I'm not that upset about it. I, I got to think about this. It's really like almost mm. throwaway line. Yeah. And to me, that was the most important line of the whole uh, post-fight presser. He wasn't that upset about the loss. He didn't need the victory in order to validate who he is as a man. Mm -hmm. He's validated through business. He's validated through family. He's validated through these other things. Mm -hmm. He didn't need the fight. There's a time where the fight was all he had. Yeah, right? he had to fight to get out. Now, not, he's, now he's out. Now he's out. But yeah. not only did he have to fight to get out, like fighting was his identity, mm -hmm. right? That was the only thing that people appreciated him for. When you build a $100 million business out of alcohol, yeah. people can go, oh, I really appreciate this guy as a businessman. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. and maybe he has these other endeavors that he's starting to do. When he, you know, uh, makes sure that like this gym doesn't close in Ireland, he like just paid off their debt because they were really struggling because of COVID. Mm -hmm. And people go, oh my God, what an amazing person just come in the last minute and save it. People go, wow, you're a really sweet guy. And he goes, yeah, I am a pretty sweet guy. I, I don't need to mm -hmm. kill people or you know punch them in the face until they're unconscious in order to to feel validated. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he realized it after his loss against Khabib, is that he loses and goes, "Oh, there's life after this." Yes, I like my legacy. People s still love me. I still walk around the street and shut down the mall. I'm so famous. Like I think he realized. I think he, like the perception is, "Oh, if I lose this, I'm no longer the best fighter. Like my life is over." And then he realized, "Oh, life is great." Life is still great. I'm still love. Sorry yeah. no, to interrupt, no, but no. the uh, uh, and it was a little different than the the Diaz fight because I think in the Diaz fight he truly felt that he could beat uh, yeah. Nate Diaz. He, he truly felt like he could. He's like, yeah, he tapped me out. I got tired. That's on me. Mm -hmm. I to this day do not believe that he believes he can beat Khabib. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, there is a knows. difference there, right? He knows Khabib he, got him. Khabib's exactly. better. Like he's just better. Yeah. And you can accept that. Yeah, he weirdly. watched Khabib fight everyone. He fight watched Khabib fight Justin. Was like, yeah, yeah I don't want this. Even I don't know. It's not seemed... even I don't want this. I just lost to somebody better. I can't. Yeah. I can live with that. Yeah. Weirdly, yeah. yeah. yeah this guy's just better. Like there's yeah. nothing I could have done. Yeah. If you if the Nate Diaz fight went the way Andrew saying, it's like, bro, I could have fucking got him. That's yeah. gonna eat away at you. And he Khabib, did get him. it's like yeah. there's no way I could have got him. He's just better. What can you do? Yeah. It's interesting because. He, he was say, basically saying that he wasn't that angry, but he lost at least $100 million when he lost that fight. Yep. This is the crazy thing. So 
I have on like pretty good, you know, I trustworthy information that he was going to fight Pacquiao, but that that was locked in. Mm-hmm. But he has to win this fight in order to build up the interest to to fight Pacquiao. That Pacquiao fight is worth tens of millions of dollars. Yeah. Because if he beats Pacquiao, he gets the welterweight belt. Mm. It would be for a championship. Mm. Pacquiao has a belt. He beat Keith Thurman. I think he's just been inactive. So imagine McGregor crosses sports, somehow managed to squeak out a decision over an aging Pacquiao. Forget it. Mm. You're the biggest fight. You're the biggest fighter in history. Yeah, he's back on top. Khabib thing doesn't even matter. Who yeah. cares about Khabib? When you come back, now you have a fight with Khabib that's going to be worth crazy, mm-hmm. and Khabib probably would come back for that, Yeah. right? Not only that, you take the Jake Paul fight. Mm-hmm. I heard there was serious consideration. Mm. Really? Yeah. So that's a $50 million fight as well, minimum. It's probably more once you're the welterweight champion, mm. right? Uh. Now, there's going to be significantly less interest probably because if he beats an actual boxer then who cares about Jake Paul fighting him, right? But, dude, this guy lost at least $100 million, maybe more, $150 yeah. million. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's uh, you're at, like, who wants to be a millionaire? You know what I mean? Like, he, had, he was, like, three questions away from yep. being fucking massive. Yeah, but it's like who wants to be a millionaire if a millionaire is sitting in the chair? You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. And, th- and what you said right there is the reason why he's not that bummed, and that tells you everything. Hmm. He's bummed because he knows he's going to have to take the licks on the internet, I imagine. Yeah. And, again, this is me speculating. I don't fucking mm-hmm. know Connor. But, like... It just seems to me, and I'm kind of happy about it, that the guy is good with his life. It's an ego blow, and ego is born out of insecurity. And if you were secure and you're confident, yeah. it only hurts so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I was also thinking when you brought up how much you made off Proper 12, he made $100 million advertising, going making appearances. Body took no real punishment except fucking landing a plane. He really Whatever enjoyed it, ears popping. He was meeting people. Fun, like, 100 million. So you described he lost 100 million, but think of the abuse he has to take for 100 million. Yeah. He's looking yeah. at his daughter like, I'm going to take that many shots in the head, boxing yeah. especially. Yeah. Boxing is fucking devastating. Bang, bang, bang. I got a daughter. I, for the same amount of money, I've already got fuck you money. I'm already yeah. good forever. And yeah. I, I got a liquor brand that made me this money. No physical exertion. Yeah. And he's mad emotional too now. Like in the press conference, like someone asked him a question. And it was like a real like complimentary, like kind of like just like stroke him question. But it was like, you know, you're taking the loss so well. Like you must be like, you know, you're trying to create an example for your children, blah, blah, blah. And just like really buttering up, buttering him up about his kids. And he was like, wow, like you're really making me well up right now. Like he like paused because he was going to start crying. I think a daughter can change you more if you're like a guy like that than anything. Yeah. But he's like tapped in like emotionally now. Like like I thought the family shit was just kind of like him playing it up. But I think he's really about it. I Yeah, I think that Connor is a really sophisticated guy. And I think that part of the reason why we're so drawn to him is because he is really attached to like who he is as a man. And I think that loss to Khabib like recognizing that he's not good enough to beat Khabib, he had to eat that. He had to stomach that. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to stomach Nick, or I mean Nate, Mm -hmm. because he knew he could. But he had to accept that there was somebody he was not going to be able to beat. Mm -hmm. And then when he did that, he accepted himself and all the great things that he has, and that was the worst thing for him. Yeah. <laughs> the worst thing for a fighter is going, I'm good enough. Yeah. The worst thing <laughs> for any creative is, I'm good enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know, it, it's just a tricky thing. Yeah. It's hard. When you achieve something that you really want and you're searching for the next achievement, right? It's fucking, it can be depressing. Sometimes you move everyone to Florida. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, like th- that. No, but in all seriousness, we're going to Florida. We're going to Florida, 100%, <laughs> yeah. Miami. No, but in, in, in all seriousness, in his circumstance, I totally understand why that he's better off for it. He'll have a way better career afterwards. He won't be one of these guys 50 years old trying to do comeback Losing fights and himself. shit. He won't be fucking the wrestler or whatever that, t- that movie was. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, but I also think there is a maturation to Connor that's happened. Like, there was some thug shit to him. Didn't he slap an old guy at a bar? Yeah, he's that throwing, like, the fucking dolly through the bus window. I mean, this yeah. guy has some thug shit to him, but yeah. I think once Insecurity. you got money, you got something to lose. And you got a kid. It's like, bro, I can't. Insecurity, I can't. bro. I have to, yeah. yeah. And I'm, I'm and then fucking he got humble stoked too. for him. Yeah. yeah, it's great. This might not be the best comparison, but I just keep thinking of Charlemagne. Interesting. Hmm. It's kind of like the same kind of uh, transformation he had. Yeah. He's like rough around the edges, a little shock jock in the beginning. And like people loved him for yeah. it. Like we were like glued to everything yeah. he was doing. And then has pretty much almost fuck you money. And it's like, and he's 
self-aware. He's living for his daughters now. It's like he achieved everything that he wanted to achieve. And then after doing that, he realized, oh, shit, I still got to work on myself. Yeah. Yeah. Achieving this alone is not going to make me happy. There's more to life. There's more to life. And I got to fucking work on that in order to understand who I am. And then you understand who you are and you're like, oh, shit, I get to do this because I love it. But I don't have to to feed this insatiable beast inside of me, this this insecurity. Yeah, it's it's uh, I don't know. I I just I hope he retires. You know who he went from? Charlemagne. Connor's like Duval now. Like yeah, Duval yeah, 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 is yeah. the most confident motherfucker in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, du- Duval don't care. I'm gonna go to the fucking Bermuda right now because I want to. I can. Mm-hmm. I know I'm good enough. What are you yeah. really gonna tell me? Yeah. And you look at those guys after when you pull back, you're like, oh, they figured out life. Yeah. Yeah, it's true, man. It's true. I just hope he doesn't fight anymore. Genuinely. Same. Yeah. There's no point. I hope anybody that has that kind of money doesn't fight anymore. He could have one more easy money fight. To your point about like losing all the interest in a Pacquiao fight. Interest is higher in a Jake Paul fight now. Because mm. you're like, he looks gettable. Most people <laughs> yeah, are like, right. he looks gettable. Jake right. Paul knocked the fuck out of Nate Robinson. I think mm. on the back of our mind, we're like, he going to fuck this guy up. Yeah. But on some level, you're like, maybe Jake Paul could get it. It would just be surreal to watch. Yeah. To see them it stand together would just be absolutely surreal. And Jake Paul is doing, he had that fucking troll video where he's just laughing and like, I lowered the price. Connor, yeah. I'll be 150K now. No, he, he said 10 grand. Yeah, 10 he grand. said, I'll just so give you said, 10 grand. He goes, I'll give you a Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> he said, for one Bitcoin, we're fighting. <laughs> yeah, take that deal, Connor. Like that, it's yeah. going to be worth a lot one I mean, Jake I like Paul, to guy, his yeah. credit, has done an absolutely brilliant job of convincing people that that people paid for that fight to see him fight. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. he goes, he goes, my last pay-per-view sold 1.5 million. It's like, yeah, for Tyson and Roy Jones. Hilarious. You're the undercard. Yeah. Like, yeah. very few, we literally all bought it for Tyson and Roy Jones. We're like, oh, but this kind of like, well. Uh, Nate Robinson's fighting? Yeah. Like, fuck? we're like, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's kind of cool. But this he is, ran you know, with that spotlight because he had the knockout. He yeah. had the moment. He and had he, the moment. He leaned in. He stole the show yes. without a doubt. But the reason why people purchased yeah, was not right. for Jake Paul. Like, yeah. if Jake Paul fights a no-name person, nobody's buying it. Yeah, Jake Paul still needs to fight somebody with equal or more fame yeah. in order for there to be interest in this and fight. He's going to be the troll. He's Some people tough. saying he's fighting Ben Askren. Yeah, I saw, the, I saw an announcement for that, and I thought it was confirmed. Yeah, I don't know if it's real or not, but like April 17th. But Ben Askren is somebody who will like get social media going. He was the guy who got knocked out in five yeah. seconds by Jorge Masvidal, yeah. the flying knee. Yeah. Yeah. But he understands controlling and that kind of stuff. He also sucks at boxing, so Jake might beat him up. Yeah, yeah. like it's it, it's a it boxing match or a UFC. Fight? It's a boxing match. Okay. But Jake's go, uh, but uh, Ben, I guess, would be thinking, "I'm an athlete. I can figure this whole thing out," which I don't think he will be able to do, frankly. Yeah. But um, and that would be the perfect fight. Yeah, it's a perfect fight for Jake. For Jake, yeah, hundred percent. He gets to beat up a real MMA guy. Who had tons of success in MMA, yep. but isn't good at boxing, and it just justifies that he is pretty good at boxing. Yeah, he I really mean, he, he's inserted himself in this conversation where I go, "Oh yeah, he should fight Conor McGregor," with, for no reason. For no reason. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. literally just all like smoke and mirrors. But I'm like, "Oh yeah, that should happen." And yeah. to your point, Conor could make that money, especially if I, it's going to be boxing or UFC. This will be boxing. I still think Conor would win, right? But yeah, I think so. But now there's interest, and if he beats Ben Askren, the interest is raised. Conor could get. A lot of money for a much easier fight and much less abuse. Yeah. Losing. And fight. weirdly, him losing to Justin is almost like, wait, could Jake Paul win? Yeah, that's what Dustin, I'm saying. Him Dustin, losing to Dustin, Dustin Poirier. Yeah, me, yeah. Him losing to Dustin Poirier really raises interest in a much easier Jake Paul fight as opposed to getting fucked up by Manny Pacquiao and abusing each other. And yeah. then so step, step, step. Does the, this is an ego question right here. Is coming off a loss like that in devastating fashion and then taking the fight with Jake Paul, which is kind of like, um, I don't know. Yeah, it's a circus. Like, it's yeah, not a, it's a circus. It's not an athletic competition. Yeah, what's less than a circus? A carnival? A carnival, yeah. <laughs> so taking like a carnival type fight, doesn't that diminish your stature? He also has to think about his, he also has to think about his brand and his legacy, right? Like he has companies that are pegged to his, not success, but to his perception. Yeah. So like proper 12 is pegged to his perception. And if he becomes a carnival act, I think proper 12 takes a hit. I, I think, think these other businesses take a I hit. I think it was the perception of being the tough guy and being Mr. Rowdy. Like that would be perfect for it. Mm. Yeah. He's he, he's 
kind of his carnivalness was what draw, drew us yeah. to him. Like, this motherfucker's wild. The, the fuck you the suit. Fuck you and pinstripes? Like, Come that's, on. Yeah. <laughs> that's why motherfuckers getting proper 12. Yeah, and he was also yeah. winning. Yeah. So I now he needs a win. So motherfuckers still want to yeah. drink that. Khabib. You want to drink the loser whiskey now? Yeah, we liked him because he. <laughs> yeah, we liked him because he won, but we love him because he's like yeah. sideshow. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, maybe I guess I just look at it like, oh wow, you can't cut it in the big league, so you're fighting, you know, a kid who just started boxing pretty much. But that's the thing is like the average person I don't think looks at like wins and losses. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think they just look at fighters and go, what feeling do they give me? You know what that's I mean? A like great I don't know saying. Jorge Masvidal's record. But every time he fights, I want to watch because I watched him beat the shit out of Nate Diaz or like arguably yeah, beat Nate Diaz yeah. and then beat Ben Askren. And I was like, yo, those two fights were so fun. And you listen to him, he makes you but feel something. I, yeah. I, you see, I think that's less about the fight and I think that's more about the personality. Yes. And, exactly. Yeah. I but think that, it's like, and why Jorge so brilliantly marketed himself. Like he's really like leaned it. The MAGA thing was weird, but I understand he's Cuban and like. They have this like super fear of communism, yeah. and socialism, mm-hmm. et cetera. But like just him leading into, yeah, I'm street Judas or whatever. Like, yeah, I used to do these street fights. And I remember watching him as a kid on like YouTube, yeah. you know, fighting in the backyard. And mm-hmm. It really like cemented him as this almost like cartoon character within the like fight world. But he also had these like YouTube videos. He was a YouTuber. He yeah. is yeah. like he started putting them out, vlogs and all that stuff, really leaning into his celebrity. And he has massive pay-per-views because of it. Yep. I think boxing learned that with the 24-7 series. They started mm-hmm. investing money in the series beforehand, and then the fights were like triple in interest. Yeah. And people are like, oh, if we can get people to love the man fighting, yeah. if they're invested in the man, they'll watch the fight. Exactly. And that's really what it is. And yeah. that's Connor and Proper, Proper 12. Yeah. We are already invested in Connor the man, so we'll fuck with his whiskey. And now you kind of like him more because he's like, this guy's fucking great. He's all happy. Life has changed his life. Went from a thug to this fucking family guy. Proper 12. Let's do it. Al don't like it, bro. Nah. That's all Al's, shit. Al's in a minority of human beings. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. but <laughs> I don't mean racially. I just mean like Al's got to like, I don't, nah, I'm not with that shit. Like right. anything happy, I was like, nah, come on, man. I'm not doing bro, that. Bro, Al was literally at the fight with all these people so happy he sat there with the fucking mean mug. For the two hours, time. watching a fight. Like, what's I was wrong having with this guy? a great time. Bro, you said I was having words. a great time. That's funny. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. but you guys always say I'm never enthusiastic. Like I was enjoying no, you myself. You the enthusiasm of Eeyore. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm saying, this guy yeah. is who he yeah. is. So I don't yeah. think most people. I I think most people are like, oh, it's cool to see Joe Rogan had a post. I'm genuinely enjoying seeing Connor at these pre-fight events. Like, yeah, yeah. It's just cool to see him this happy. Yeah. And not, I don't know. He had a whole post. Fuck about it. it. Fight yeah. Jake Paul. That's what I'm saying. If Knock he fights Jake Paul, out, fight nerds are gonna go, oh well, his legacy and blah blah blah. He's not the best. He's already not the best. Yeah, already, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Khabib's He's gonna be to Khabib exposed him. I was gonna say, Khabib fights, exposed. Like, He's not the best. We so, still fuck with Proper 12. We love him. Now, yeah. He's gotta be careful right now because if his people engage in negotiations with Jake Paul, if they're the ones to reach back out, mm. Jake might take that and be like, see, this sucker lost. And now he's begging for a fight. He's yeah. so tra-. Like, everything you do. With Jake, you have to be careful because he will find a way to expose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. You know, yeah. it is. That's a tricky one right there. Yeah. That's a wild boy. And really, he knows what he's doing. He should have took the Jake fight before. Yes. I think you just get Jake out the way, shut him up. He's this annoying YouTube kid. It's yes. like, I don't think it would have hurt his career at all. It just would have been like, all right, I see why you did it. Yeah. You got a quick 50 and then go fight a real fighter. Yeah. His best, his, now, honestly, his best hope is Jake says some shit about his family. Oh, he already did that. That's where you go, like, nah, you disrespected my wife. We gotta take this. Back. That's when like, he should have fought him. Yeah. That's when he should have. We don't even need the money. He should just come and be like, we don't even need the money. I'll just fuck you up on site. How about that? Yeah, he's gotta. I think he should retire from UFC and then fight Jake Paul. One fight. <laughs> yeah. But to your point, the sideshow. Mm. When you talk about a sideshow fight fucking up legacies, you know who should be worried about that? Floyd. Floyd has a legacy as the greatest boxer. Yeah, he has a real of all legacy. Time. The best ever. Huh. TBE. Whole brand I, behind it. Yeah, for whatever reason, I don't find it. Like, I don't feel I, like it affects him. I think you... Because he also doesn't call them real fights. He calls them exhibitions and shit like that. And there's also no question about his dominance, whereas with Connor, there is question now about his dominance. Mm. So that's where I feel like more nothing like... Nothing could affect it. Like it's. I'm more inclined with what, what Mark or Al said, which is we already know he's not the best. Okay, so he's taking... Yeah, now that I'm thinking about like that, I think that you could just do whatever you want, collect the check. Khabib takes an exhibition fight, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? That's here? weird. You're supposed to be the best. You're above this. You're yeah. so good. You're Why are you doing this? It. Connor yeah. is no longer above this. Correct. Yeah. Now, if, yeah, and now if Connor goes into a fight with Jake Paul and doesn't shit talk, 
He doesn't have great banter leading up. He like looks weak in the ring. Nope. Then I think his legacy is tarnished. Yeah. yeah. Like, but as long as he's like having fun and everyone's having fun with him leading up to the fight and just like talking mad shit. Yeah. It's a great time. Like, even if he loses, like miraculously, I think people still this uh, is like, love actually it. really good because Connor's jujitsu trainer is this guy named Dylan Danis, mm-hmm. right? Who's like an unbelievable. He's the guy that Jake Paul threw the stuff at him on the street in L.A. Yeah. Uh, from the truck. Yeah. Do you remember this while he was doing food truck diaries with yeah. Brendan Shaw? Mm-hmm. You didn't see this. Yeah. So um, Dylan is like a masterful uh, jujitsu guy. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, he's fighting in Bellator which is like the lower leagues of UFC, essentially. Okay. And Dylan and Jake Paul beef. Mm. And Dylan has all the dirt uh, on yeah. Jake. <laughs> so it's not like it's not like Connor needs to start researching this figure because yeah. the reality is Connor has no fucking clue who Jake Paul is, right? Yeah. He's mm. just old. Yeah. Like, just like I had no clue who Jake Paul is. Yeah. <laughs> Jake Paul is one of the most famous people on the planet. I didn't know where he was from. Right. I heard the name. But yeah. I didn't know. I'm too old to yeah. know Jake Paul as someone relevant in my world, yeah. mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But if you are probably your age, mm-hmm. there's no question, right? Like right. Jake Paul is, is famous as yeah. fuck, right? Yeah. And you know where he's from and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, Al, did you know? Son, five people would say Nate Robinson made Jake Paul famous. Hilarious. Yeah, a hundred percent, one hundred percent. We've never heard the name until that day. And you, you're you're my age. Know the fuck he was. No clue. So there is a generational gap here. So now Connor's like, do I have to research this fucking kid? Do I have yeah. to start watching YouTube video? Do I have to know what the fuck this guy is? Connor didn't have to do that with Mayweather. He's been following Mayweather as long as Mayweather's been around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he w- is at a disadvantage. It's almost like you know, like um, if you're doing a roast with somebody, the lesser known person is Has the one advantage. with the advantage. Mm-hmm. They usually win. They got they, all the dirt. They have all the dirt. Yeah. Right. The, the the more famous person has one joke. I don't know who the fuck you are. Yeah. Boom. That's it. Done. What oh, else yeah. do you have? Exactly. Now you still don't know, and there's ten more jokes. Because the audience isn't gonna know either. Yeah. Right. So I think that he's in a great situation because Dylan's just gonna be like, oh yeah, here's all the fuck shit on Jake Paul. He's probably been collecting that. Right. Yeah. Here's all the fuck shit. You go have fun with right. that. Yeah. I mean, I, I yeah, I, I'm with it. You guys are right. I think that's the next thing. You retire from the UFC. This isn't any funny more. And in the retirement announcement, you say that you are going to beat the shit out of Jake Paul one yeah. more time. Let Jake get all that fucking money. He deserves it. He built that fucking fight. You can't Smart give him kid. pennies either. Yeah. He, he deserves he deserves money for this fight. Yeah. yeah. He cakes in. I think you get caught. Excuse me. Connor kills it. And there it is. You make one more big fucking check. Done. What yeah. else you got to do? Yeah. Right? I don't even know if he needs this big check, but yeah. You're good. But for fun. Yeah, just to beat the shit out of this guy. And that's good. And if Jake wins, shit. And if Jake beats this... Shit. Yeah. Oh, it's a problem. But if Jake beats this guy in April, which you're saying he probably will, now there's actual interest. Yeah. Yo, this guy's beating up UFC guys. Connor's not the same Connor. Yeah. And you, a trained fighter, or like a fight knowledgeable person, will say, yeah, but this guy sucks at boxing. Connor can actually box. Great head movement. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I'm going to be like, no, nah, he beat up a UFC guy. So this is another UFC guy who's not as good as he used to be. Yes. This would be a great fight. Yes. A hundred percent. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I want to make sure that your dicks stay hard. You know, not all of you are getting to go down to Miami, Florida and enjoy the sun and let that vitamin D fill your loins. Some of you are in the frozen tundra that is New York, maybe Washington, maybe Minnesota, maybe somewhere else, Idaho, maybe Nova Scotia, maybe Europe. And you know what? The shrinkage is killing you. Ooh. Killing you. Mm. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the power into your own hands. Matter of fact, you're going to take it into your mouth. Blue Chew, <laughs> it is the greatest boner chewable on the planet. Okay, same active ingredients as in Cialis or Viagra and all that other stuff. But this one right here is the chew. And when you chew, you satisfy your woman, you satisfy your side piece, and you satisfy whoever else that you need to fornicate with so you can get through those furious winters. Mm. What I need you to do is go to bluechew.com. Okay, you go to bluechew.com and you use the promo code flagrant. You get to try it for free. Best stick of your life for free. You're welcome. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. You go to bluechew.com, bluechew.com, okay? Use that promo code flagrant. You are going to deliver something special, my friends. Now, let's get back to the show. Um, all right, well, talking about people whose uh, legacies have been tarnished, I think it's time to talk about uh, 
We'll talk about the GOAT yep. and Bill Belichick. Yup. Has anybody's stock dropped faster this year than Bill Belichick? <laughs> no, sir. It's, it's unbelievable. He's like an unhappy Conor McGregor. <laughs> he's still miserable, and you're losing. Uh, look, I don't even know if he's miserable or not, but I know that the way that he's perceived is yes. no longer this super genius. Yes. There was time, I think there was a legitimate time where people assumed, the majority of people assumed that Belichick was more responsible for the Patriots' success than Brady. Mm-hmm. Tom Brady is a system quarterback, was the line. You used to hear that all the time. And still great, right? Yeah. You'd be like, he's still amazing. He's still clutch. He's still going to make all these throws. He's going to make sure that people, he's going to throw people open, as you often yeah. say. He's still incredible, but he's incredible within this Belichick system. And if you took him out, he might not be as incredible. Yes. I think that Correct. was the feeling, right? Yeah. At least around like casuals. Yeah, like, a lot of, and a lot of people who hated Brady would be like, he's fine. He's above average, but Belichick is the genius. He's a machine. You take any part of that machine, Belichick just replaces him, and they keep winning. I am a, I'm 100% on board with that sentiment until yep. the Falcons game. The Super Bowl? Yeah. Okay. I think that comeback switched it for a bunch of people where they're like, okay, maybe within the system he's amazing, but he's still yeah. special. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's you fair. can't throw anybody in there. He did something special. The year they got Randy Moss was the year I was like, oh, this motherfucker is incredible. He threw like 50 touchdowns, and it was just unreal what he was mm-hmm. doing. And then I was like, oh, there used to always be a Peyton Manning and Tom Brady comparison. But Manning would have a huge – they would build the entire team around Manning, the Colts. So he would put up crazy numbers. Marvin Harrison, Reggie Wayne, Dallas Clark was a good tight – like they yep, always yep, had yep, weapons. Yep, 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 yep. Brady throwing a fucking Troy Brown who's like my height basically. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Then when Brady got Moss, he went nuts. And I was like, oh, this guy is special. every bit the quarterback Peyton Manning is, but he lets Belichick coach so he can win. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's here's the question. Yeah. Obviously now Brady is going to his, what, 10th Super Bowl? 10th Bowl's Super Bowl crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I fucking mean, nuts. truly unbelievable. Um, but here's the question. There's a couple questions, but here's the question. Would he be more successful if he didn't have Belichick? Would Brady has Brady been held back by Belichick? Brady goes to play for the Bucks. Yes. Right? Goes to play for a coach. Was Bruce Arians? He's good. Not that successful. He's good, and that's it. Hey, fine. He's good. Fine. He's no offensive fucking genius. Nope. <laughs> right? He's no well, I mean, they I don't know how we look at Sean McVay now, but people were telling He's not Sean, McVay. He's, he's not he's not Shanahan, Kyle Sean Shanahan. Payton, yeah, he's none of these guys. He's not an offensive genius. Their defense solid. Fine. Now don't give me offensively, he's got they've got weapons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You cannot deny that they yeah. have weapons, right? Yeah. Receiving core is pretty impressive. Yep. Right? You have Evans, you have well Antonio Brown's not going to play, but still Brown came at the end of the season. This Goodwin guy has been good balling. Good. This little fucking white boy can run his ass off. Miller, but how happy was he when Tom Brady mm-hmm. came Unbelievable. there? Tom Brady going to the Bucks was the best for this fucking Miller kid. He was just like, "That's it. I'm a short I'm, white I'm guy. His, I'm his little white guy. Done. <laughs> I'm going to the Pro Bowl. <laughs> <Yeah. baby. laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> so it's like, and then I mean, when when Leonard Fournette is your backup running back, yes. you know that you're in a pretty good situation. Right, so it's yeah. not to say he has no weapons. Right. That being said. You walk to the Super Bowl, and it's not like there was that much adversity. We didn't even mention Gronk and then the other guy, their yeah. other tight end. Well, a lot of these people, legit- yeah, O.J. Howard, a lot of these people came for Brady. For Brady. Fournette, Gronk. Yep. I guess those are the only two, but those are two pretty good players. For sure, for yeah. sure. And it's reasonable. Antonio and I'm sure there are... Oh, what's Brown, that? Antonio, Antonio Brown. Brown. Antonio Brown. And I'm sure there's other guys, too. I'm sure there's like position players that we don't know about, but yeah. really we're like, I will, I will take less to play with this guy yes. because he's going to take us to the promised land. When you see him do this at 43, yeah, okay, 43 years old. Even if they don't win the Super, if they if they do win the Super Bowl, we need another term that's more than goat. Yes, <laughs> because goat is being used. Too oh, much. he's the best athlete ever. He's Jordan is done. It's so weird to use the word athlete with a guy who is not athletic, athletic at all. Yeah, yeah. but we, best sportsman, best something. Right, we have to do it. There's gonna be another last dance that comes out about why he's better than yeah. why Jordan is better than, <laughs> than Tom Brady. Like he's gonna need to go into marketing. <laughs> overdrive but you have this situation where i wonder if belichick held him back if this like mm. strict patriot way thing that yeah. he the, was doing the system that he was in the system yeah. that, maybe it held him back maybe that the way that he was spending money 
that we thought was so brilliant. He's yeah. underpaying Brady and really investing in the defense and cornerbacks and all this kind of shit. Maybe, obviously, the offensive line, he needs offensive line. But even you told me that the Bucks' offensive line isn't amazing. Nope. They put more emphasis on it when they got Brady, but it's not a fucking fantastic line. But you line. know what happens? When you're an offensive lineman... And your blocking matters Yeah. when you know your quarterback will hit the spot if yeah. he has the opportunity. I'm motivated. I'm motivated. Mm -hmm. I trust the guy behind me. I trust the guy behind me. It's and easy to block for Brady. It's easy to block for Mahomes. It's not easy to block for fucking Sam Darnold. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Where's this guy gonna do? You know what I'm saying? He's I'm seeing gonna, ghosts. I'm, I'm gonna, good. He's seeing ghosts. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Who is he saying that about? One Belichick. It was Belichick. Coach, like, uh, they were playing the Patriots. It was playing the like, Patriots, I'm saying, right? I'm yeah. saying ghost. So it's like, I'm just saying, like, when you're an offensive lineman and you know every time you bang your head, you're going to forget your daughter's name 10 years right. from mm -hmm. now. Like, every time you bang your head, you're like, oh, I really love my daughter. I'm going to forget her I name. I just lost a fact. Yeah. I just lost a fact. I lost a, a piano recital. Yep. You know, I lost a volleyball game. Yes. I lost something every time. And for this guy to fucking throw intercep interceptions, yeah. fuck him. Yep. Fuck him. Yep. Okay. I'm telling you, when you're doing that for a Super Bowl, it's going to change your daughter's life. Yeah. When you're going to get that big contract extension because of how good Tom Brady makes you look. Yep. Mm. Don't get it wrong. You make him look good too, but that extra effort means two, three, four, five million more dollars you yep. might make on the next contract. Isn't that motivation? 100%. I'm starting to wonder if the Patriot way, and we're going to see over the next five years, yeah. maybe over the next decade, if the Patriot way actually hurt Tom Brady. Hmm. This is the most motivated Belichick we'll ever see. But to your point, we used to always say Tom Brady's lucky to have Bill Belichick. <laughs> we didn't often say Bill Belichick is lucky to have Tom Brady. He might be a guy. Some coaches just don't really value the quarterback position, and he might have enough ego to say, I don't need a great quarterback. I don't need to spend all this money on a great quarterback. I will coach up everything else and will be great. He might have lucked into the greatest quarterback ever in the sixth round, so he never had to worry about quarterback. Mm. And a guy who would take less money to help the team win. Mm. Tom Brady's a fucking unicorn, man. Mm -hmm. All right, pay me less. I'll make my money elsewhere. I'll get a million-dollar PPP loan. Who cares? Let's just win. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Belichick might have been super lucky getting Brady because since then, Cam Newton, they just got like at the end of the offseason. He was like, whatever, we'll plug in anybody. Jimmy Garoppolo, he believed in a ton. Maybe he could have made Jimmy Garoppolo great. Or maybe he was just like, no, nah, it's my guy, and I don't really care about a great quarterback. But it's hard to win without a great quarterback. Do you have any question that Tom Brady would have been a great quarterback no matter where he went? No question. He would no have been question. great anywhere. Anywhere. He was great in Michigan. He, was, he won at Michigan. But they were so excited about this hype recruit they got, uh, Drew Henson, I think. Because my Peter, his, both his parents yeah, yeah. went to Michigan. He went to Michigan fanatic. Right, so he right. knows all the history. Brady was great, but they were like, no, we got this hot recruit. We got to start him. And that's how Brady basically didn't get love walking out of Michigan. But he was good in Michigan. He won all the time. And then he locked into something else, and maybe Belichick had something to do with that. But now he's like the most focused guy eating avocado ice cream, whatever the fuck else, to, <laughs> to not to like age as well as he can yeah. and got this whole system. I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't know if you could say that Belichick held Brady back because of the wins. So it's like you can take Aaron Rodgers, for example, who's fucking – MVP this season and doesn't have the wins because he didn't have the correct system. In place. I think he would so win less Super Bowls without Belichick, but he would still be great and he might still be the GOAT. If Aaron Rodgers had a Belichick, we'd be saying this exact same thing. Oh, yeah. Great, great point. That's the thing. The, when you win less, it's actually better for your legacy in a way because especially as a quarterback, because it seems like you did it all on your own. When you are dominant as a franchise – in a team-based sport like football where it appears as if one player doesn't really have that much yeah. of a of a difference-making factor for a team, mm -hmm. you naturally lean into the coaching. Like, Patrick Mahomes is doing things that are so out of this world that you're like, you got to credit him. Yeah. But also, there are yes. people that go... Andy Reid. Andy Reid, offensive genius. Yep. He's finding ways to unearth things that you never knew. Nobody looked at Patrick Mahomes in college like this. Yep. Right? I mean, he was, I mean, he was highly talented, was but not like raw. this. Nobody, everybody's like, yeah, he's super raw. Some people believe, most people were like, eh, that system. Texas Tech system, you just throw all over the place. Who cares? It's hard for us to believe because generally speaking, there is not one person on a football field that's that dominant. Mm. No. Maybe Tom fucking Brady is. 
Maybe he's so dominant that he could have taken Aaron Rodgers' Packers to the Super Bowl and won. He could have taken the Giants to the Super Bowl and won. He could take the Chiefs to the Super Bowl. It didn't matter which fucking team. Maybe he's that good. Maybe he's so good that he makes his coach, who is mediocre, look like a genius. I don't remember the last time the Bucks made the playoffs. And Bruce Arians is a coach that makes oh, her team better, but only to a point. I, I just wanted to make one point. If we had no problem saying that Tom Brady was a system quarterback, we should have no problem now saying that Bill Belichick is a Tom Brady quarterback. He's uh, a Tom coach. Brady coach. <laughs> Bill Belichick is a Tom Brady coach. You have never proven to be victorious without Tom Brady. Yes, you did great when what's-his-face stepped in. Matt Castle. Matt, Matt Castle stepped yeah. in. Great for having Matt Castle. Sure. Still didn't make the playoffs. Yeah. Didn't I, make the playoffs. I could agree with that, but yeah. by saying held him back, that's... He's saying statistically Brady would have gone nut. He would whatever Aaron Rodgers is so now. You, you say he would, he would have, have won been more. That, maybe one. No, no. Maybe he, I'm saying I'm saying I. Oh, who knows? That's what I'm we saying. I don't say, think. I think the, they Brady, made a perfect pairing. Yeah, yeah, and that's true. They could have yeah. been the perfect pairing. But when I see what he's done with the Buccaneers, who were last year decent. Uh, no, yeah, they were fine. They didn't even make the. Play- they weren't even close to the playoffs. Mm-hmm. But but it, it was I was it? shocked. He they was were going underperforming, to Tampa Bay. right? Yeah. Like, oh, absolutely. Yeah, but like they were. I don't want to go. He took this team. Took the fucking Jaguars or some shit like that. Like it's not far off. That's the thing. It's think? not far off. I thought Jameis, Jameis just was so bad. He was he thirty touchdowns and thirty interceptions. Interception. Yeah, it was yeah, crazy. Yeah. But he wasn't. He was just like very hot and cold. He wasn't good. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. All I'm saying is like if we had no problem removing credit from Tom Brady. Yeah. We should have no problem removing credit from Bill Belichick, seeing what they both did without each other. Mm. It's not like they don't have the uh, same salary cap. It'd be one thing if all of a sudden the Patriots has this, had this salary cap that was reduced by 50% now they don't have Tom Brady. They both had the same amount of money to spend this year, did they not? Mm-hmm. I mean, if Bill Belichick can get Tom fucking Brady to take less money on contracts, you can't get some lineman that you overpaid to do it? Like, all or of a just, sudden... Tom Brady leaving frees up a lot of money. I mean, not so much because he wasn't like getting crazy, right? Like he was doing. He was, you're still highly paid quarterback. You're getting you're right, a lot you're of right, money. You're right, you're right, you're right. So twenty million a year is still twenty million. I'm saying, what is his bitch ass excuse that he comes? He was, oh, we sold out. Remember when he said that we sold out this year? Like he said, we didn't have enough money essentially to pay. It's like, what do you mean now you don't have enough money? Now all of a sudden money's an issue. Get people to take less money. You got mm-hmm. it with Tom. Why can't you get the other guys to do it? You're supposed to be this brilliant coach and get people to buy in. Because he had, he had the unicorn in Tom Brady. He had the fucking unicorn. And I don't think Bill Belichick is the unique one. And I'm going to go so far to say he's not winning another ring for the rest of his career. Mm. It would be great to see. It I, would. I don't even know if he'll make the playoffs in the next five years. That would blow my mind. That I don't see. I don't know if he's going to get a ring without Brady anymore. But now, the thing is, with someone like Bill Belichick, I actually have like empathy for it Because how does he know if he's a genius or not? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because he's calling plays, and then the plays work. And he goes, yeah, Tom did a great job with that. But also, I called the play. And and he's a defensive – like, he breaks quarterbacks. He like, broke Sam Darnold. He broke Jared Goff a little bit, I think. Mm-hmm. Jared Goff, nobody – like, the Rams were so good. Sean McGay was so good. And in that Super Bowl, he told his defense, here's what happens with this team. The quarterback has a headset for the Rams. Mm-hmm. They go to the line with one call. They look at the formation. And before communication with the coach gets cut off – he, the coach reads the defense and says, this is the play you're going with. Mm-hmm. Bill Belichick was like, all right, we have two defenses. We have one defense that we show them, and mm-hmm. then as soon as the call comes in, we switch to another defense. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Which is fucking amazing. <laughs> right. So he defensively can break you. Right. Like just, but you can't win without good quarterback. But does he, you just can't. He, to his credit, though, he might not know if he's a genius or not. You know no, what I, mean? I understand yeah. what he's saying. It's like when things are successful, you're going to assume that you play okay. some part in that. Yeah, success. you take over a company and you're the CEO and the company's doing amazing. Mm-hmm. Like you're like, am I a genius or did I just happen to be in the, have the best product or whatever in my company? You know what I mean? It's hard to not take credit for success, yes. especially when you are, you know, when the buck stops with Bro, you. You're when your name's on the plaque, like exactly. you're like, after 20 years of doing this, you must be like, you're Yo. telling Tom what play. Yeah. Now, granted, every coach who calls a play. If the play is successful, we'll take credit for that play being successful, but you still need players to execute yes. said play. Mm-hmm. Right. But I completely understand him having an ego. There's no yes. question whatsoever. Mm-hmm. I wonder how big that ego has dropped or how much that ego has dropped this year. Yep. It'll take a couple of years for it to set in. But you know what's interesting is he got success pretty quickly, and the best thing that happened to the Chiefs might be Andy Reid not having success 
with the Eagles. Mm. Now he goes to the Chiefs, and he has this amazing quarterback. Andy Reid will never think, this is me. I did this. Mm. He thinks, I played a big part in this. Well, I know who, who the fucking unicorn is here. Mm. And it's this guy right here. And so there's not going to be an ego battle. Right. Mahomes seems like a great guy, but like, there's just, Reed is never going to be like, you're nothing without me. Mm-hmm. So, never. so sorry about, sorry, but how about this? Andy Reed, yeah, way better coach than Bill Belichick. And I'll say this just for this reason Andy Reed has taken quarterbacks that were yep. not that good. Yep. And made them incredibly successful within his offense, mm-hmm. right? We've seen that with Donovan McNabb, Nick right? Foles, Nick Foles, Alex Smith, Alex Smith, and Michael Vick. Oh, that's right. Michael that's Vick right. was not a very successful pass first no. quarterback, and then Andy Reid turned him into a quite successful pass first yep. quarterback. There's no question that that Mike always had an arm and all that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff, but he actually, I think. I don't think made it's him a overextended sure. to made say. Made him a better passer. Everyone better, right? Bill Belichick gets Cam Newton, who isn't the same Cam Newton that he was. Right. But is coming off a lot of downtime to get let his body recover. And it's not like he's forgotten how to throw a football. It's not like, I mean, can you get that much worse at throwing a football? No. As long as you're not injured. Yeah. He made him worse. <laughs> Cam Newton became a worse football player under Bill Belichick, fact or fiction? Well, he at least couldn't fix him. If he was broken, he's still broken. You didn't make him better. Michael Vick was broken and then goes to Andy Reid. And all better. of a sudden, yeah. this is a deep threat. Well, he's always a deep threat. Yeah. But, but this is a guy who could carry your fucking team. He went to the playoffs out of prison. That's the guy. Like, out you, of prison. You always say, if you take time off from football. Yes. yes. You can't come back. It's over. It's too fast of a game. Now, Vick is a freak. Freak athlete. But- yes. Andy Reid definitely helps. I know another freak athlete. Cam Newton. Cameron Newton. Oh, Yo, you're right. <laughs> I'm just saying, you make this quarterback, who is maybe a shell of himself, that's fair, but worse, undeniably worse under you. You don't make quarterbacks better as far as we've seen. Mm-hmm. M- again, Matt Castle is right. the exception. But didn't Matt play somewhere else with the Colts or something and do decently? I think he went to the Chiefs afterward, and I think he sucked. Okay, so fair he, enough. I think fair he was enough, always bad after that. There was another... Oh, maybe it was uh, Prescott played with the Colt. Remember they had another uh, Jacoby? Jacoby Brissett. Brissett. Jacoby Brissett. He did yeah. okay when yeah. he went. He was fine with the Colts. With yeah. the Colts, right? Yeah, okay. All I'm just saying is like, if we're willing to light up Tom Brady for years and say he's a system quarterback, he's not that good, and say all this shit, Belichick needs some smoke too. If we're going to have these hypotheticals. You're not wrong. I mean, if why why are people defending him? If we're gonna have hypotheticals, let's have some real hypotheticals. Yep. Came at the motherfucking goat. Bro, this this guy, guy out here looking goat, pathetic. Bro. He's making quarterback stink. Yo, he's a quarterback killer. As far as I'm concerned, given this past season, you don't. Want, if you're a quarterback, you do not want to pay for Bill Belichick. This guy will kill you, bro. He, yo, he gonna get you murdered. He yeah. gonna get you murdered, you. bro. If you're at a quarterback <laughs> and you're at a point in your career where it's teetering. Nobody's picking up Cam Newton last year. He ended Cam Newton's career. Yeah. Playing for Bill Belichick yeah. ended Cam Newton's He's football done. career. He's a backup, maybe. Maybe a backup. Yeah. There's not a question in my mind that if Cam Newton played for Andy Reid, he is a contract next year. Yo, you were absolutely <laughs> right. And we all thought Cam Newton going to the Patriots was like, no bro, they're back. They they're figured back. a way. They're back. They always do this. But Belichick's not good enough. He's not. <laughs> Belichick's not good enough. He's, He's not, not a good enough coach. To extract talent from a player. What I'm trying to say is, imagine Tom Brady had a real coach that could actually make him better. Sean Payton, Andy Reid. Sean Payton, Andy Reid. Imagine he had a real fucking coach that improved their quarterback. This is a no-brainer what Tom Brady would I think more rings. I think Belichick held Tom Brady back. I mean, can't we just look at Belichick's record? Like, I'm trying to find shit about Losing record without Tom Brady. But, like... He is a yeah. defensive genius, but that's only half. But the like, because Tom Brady's been playing football for what, like twenty years? Yeah, he and came so, in and got Belichick a ring in his first year. That's what I'm saying. We could see Tom Brady's record easily, but like Belichick has existed without Tom for Tom Brady 20 more years. Carried a mediocre coach. 
to the promised land. <laughs> he carried a mediocre coach to the promised I land. Love this. And then without that mediocre <laughs> coach, that overrated mediocre coach yeah. and his back. curmudgeon attitude, yeah. We're he was down. allowed to have a curmudgeon attitude. We're doubling down. Here we go. He was a, <laughs> imagine, imagine being a mediocre coach yeah. that is hanging on for dear life. Uh-huh. Hanging on to Tom Brady for dear life. Like his first baby mama. Yeah. <laughs> hanging on. Right? Megan Moynihan ass coach. Megan Moynihan ass coach. Okay? What was it? CSI? I think Law so. and Order? Some uh-huh. shit. One of them. <laughs> right? Hanging on for dear fucking life. Being rude to the media. Wearing a stupid cut off fucking sweatshirt. We thought that shit was genius. Oh, look. How, yeah, he doesn't even care about what he wears. Oh, you won't care now. Yo, You're going to be nice and buttoned up. You're going to be answering some fucking You're questions. You're going in the Cam Newton's closet now. <laughs> 100%. Yo. 100%. All I'm trying to say is. We gave a lot of credit where it was not due. Yeah. Tom Brady could maybe have 10 rings right now if it wasn't for Bill Belichick. <laughs> Easily. Maybe Took 20. Took the fucking Buccaneers. Could when be... was the last time? The last time the Buccaneers Sorry. won a Super Bowl or even went to the Super Bowl, Warren Sapp was on that team. They haven't won a that? playoff game since they won the Super Bowl. Holy 2002. shit. You know how yeah. great Tom Brady is? He's been to more Super Bowls than every other team in the league, including the Patriots. Unbelievable. Wow. This is going to be so funny if the Super Bowl, if he has a whole game like he played in the second half. He might, but he got there. <laughs> you're going to have to he eat all he these got there. words. And, <laughs> and what's his face didn't even get. No, no, he got there. I think him getting there it already solidifies everything. He yeah. doesn't need to win. If he does win, we need a new word that's not goat. Okay. Yeah. No other quarterback. has. Joe Montana went to the Chiefs, actually, Chiefs. after he got traded from the Niners and they wanted Steve Young. He went to the championship game. Great. Lost. Oh, yeah. Brett Favre no, with the Vikings. Is. Championship. Lost. Super Bowl never been done. And he's older than all of them. 43. 43 years old. Imagine he was 37 and did this. Imagine Tom was young oh, and did God. this. Forget it. There's mm. no second half like that. Mm. I mean, the fact that Bill Belichick was underpaying him to ride on his fucking coattails. <laughs> it's a travesty. It's a travesty. <laughs> but that's Stephen what. Stephen A. But, Schultz over dude, here. So wow. This guy is great. Real talk. No, this is interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. This is interesting. <laughs> Tom Brady, this is how fucking great Tom Brady is. He knew that Bill Belichick was so incompetent as a coach that he wouldn't be able to pick the right players in order to win. So he took less money to make up for Belichick's incompetence. Mm. (laughs) Belichick is incompetent. Every year, Tom Brady comes to camp. He goes, I'm going to have some targets to throw to. Five, six Jews. (laughs) <laughs> Edelman pulls up. Edelman is pulling what up. What kind of year did Edelman have without Brady? That's oh, why Edelman was begging Brady God. to stay. Edelman knew. Edelman knows. Edelman's who the fuck. a Jew. He knows who the winners are, <laughs> where the <laughs> money is. He's like, take me to Florida. My yeah. whole family's yeah. over there. I belong so the there. Boca Raton, please. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you have to put some respect on Tom, and you have to put some disrespect. on on Belichick. You've been putting disrespect. A lot of people out here putting disrespect on Tom for the mm. last decade. Yeah. Now I think Belichick deserves some disrespect. Mm. The motherfucker couldn't even make the playoffs. Bum. You weren't Bum. even close, dog. Bum. And then tried to blame it on a black man. Racist. Mm-hmm. Uh. Can't believe it, How yo. dare he? Racist. <laughs> Can't believe it, yo. Just a racist bum. Yeah, free cam, bro. <laughs> right? Real talk. Tom Brady, yo. The second Donald Trump loses, all of a sudden he want nothing to do with him. <laughs> Remember Trump tried to give him the Medal of Freedom? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was like, oh, I don't, I don't want to do any distractions. No, you want any attention to your losing ass. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. motherfucker is a loser. Son, you suck, yo. You stink. <laughs> Dude, bitch-ass Belichick's losing fucking ass was riding Tom's coattails, and Tom knew it. And he said, I'm taking this team to Tampa. Mm. Everybody's, all I need is grunk. <laughs> That's it. All I need is fucking and I Gronk. And I barely need Gronk. Gronk had one catch yesterday. Yeah. But just being there is nice. I know. He's such a yeah. he's, so, yeah. he's so great. Have a buddy, he just wants good. his homies around yeah. with him in Florida. Yeah. He's the Andrew Schultz of this shit. Hey, bro, can you blame him? Who doesn't want the boys yeah. in Florida, bro? Real talk. Yo, he yeah. called him. He's like, Gronk, where are you? He's like, Northeast. He's like, that's what you thought. Uh-huh. Do you want to be you in the thought? Northeast? Yeah. He's like, I just signed a lease. And Gronk, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> no one cares about your lease, you fucking idiot. We're going to Florida. I'm trying to start this company. Gronk, yeah. shut the fuck up. Oh, you have a studio, Gronk? Wow. <laughs> all I'm saying is Belichick needs all this smoke. Yo. I don't think he ever wins another Super Bowl, and I'd be shocked if he makes a playoffs. I'd be mm. shocked. So wait, what happens to to Tom on Super Bowl Sunday? What happens? 
Let's make some predictions. He could, okay. get, a, he could get a mud hole stomped in his ass, but he Listen, got there. <laughs> <laughs> he got there. Like. Is, it sounds like Tom's pretty he good should, at football. Right? He <laughs> should get a mud hole stomped in his ass. Stomped yeah. in his ass. But you would be out of your fucking <laughs> mind. You would be out of your fucking mind to say that you 100% believe that knowing it's Tom Brady. That's true. Right? Isn't there like a 5% mm. part of you that's like, he might find a way. The only reason I don't have faith is because he's going against probably the, the next go. Tom Brady. Yeah, the guy who's <laughs> perfect and maybe the greatest coach of all time when it's all said and done. Because they're just, they're not going to lose. I don't know ever. Why would you? Mm. They're incredible. You know, the yeah. only reason Patrick Mahomes hasn't been to three straight Super Bowls is because of one offsides call against the Patriots. Wow. Tom Brady threw a pick and then the guy was like barely offsides. They threw oh, a flag, wow. so the pick went away. But that pick was going to, you're going to kneel down the game if you're Kansas City and then make the Super Bowl. Wow, That's the wow. only reason. And he's only been a quarterback for three years. Yeah. So right. all three years, he should have made the Super Bowl. This guy's perfect. If he doesn't get injured, he's, he's perfect. Somebody said that he hasn't lost a game by more than one possession his entire career. And you have to go back to like college to find a game where he has lost by more than one possession. So in other words, he hasn't lost a game by more than eight points. That's. Un fucking 25 years old. <laughs> He's perfect. He's good at everything. Doesn't throw picks. Crazy arm strength. Make every throw you need to make. Touch, bullet, whatever. Yeah. And athletic. Smart. Like every other quarterback has some flaw. He doesn't. Mm. He has no flaws. This is how good that team has been. They have, outside of Super Bowls, have never gone on the road in the playoffs. They're just always at home. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh, it is it is just fucking amazing. It's meant to be. Super Bowl's in Tampa. Old goat, new goat. We in Florida. Yeah. We're going yeah. to tailgate at least. We got to go to the Super Bowl. No, we're going. We're <laughs> yeah. Going. I mean, you can go, right? They're going to have some people. It's Florida. Yeah. We they're doing. Uh, they're the, trying to give it to frontline workers. They're, I think they're going to have 20,000 fans. Is what and I, I think they're doing COVID sniffing dogs. What? You know, this is what Miami <laughs> Heat are going to do. 100%. This no, is this is a real thing. There's COVID sniffing dogs. COVID sniffing wow. dogs. So the Miami Heat are going to allow limited attendance at their games. You can bring it up right now, and they're going to use COVID sniffing dogs. That's yeah, unbelievable. 100%. And this is this is explains why you know it got out of control in Wuhan. Yeah, you know <laughs> so, <laughs> what happened to all those dogs. <laughs> 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 is it is it true though? Yeah, the heat. 100% are, the true. heat are going to do that. But that's the first place it's being done. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, we'll see. But, but I, yeah. I imagine they're going to do no, it. No, Florida, I think, I think they're doing progressive <laughs> government, man. Yeah, exactly. I really like the way they're handling this the, pandemic. They figure out the most people have been vaccinated in Florida so far of all the states, except for a couple. I heard the most is New York. Yeah, I think New York's first, but I think Florida is coming up on first. So, so you just lied. <laughs> yeah. So you just said a lie. Yeah. yeah. If I that's said it, it, partial truth. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's How is New York first? Interesting lie. Uh, population density. This is bullshit. This is the whole thing. Everybody's right next to the hospital. You just walk there. <laughs> All right, fair enough. You, know I mean? you got 8 million people three blocks away from a hospital. Yep. Yeah. Even fucking Cuomo, this idiot. <laughs> could get that done. <laughs> fucking but yeah. idiot. But yeah, I think they're doing You're like 20,000 fans. 20,000 fans, I think 7,000 are like vaccinated frontline workers. And, ah. then, and then I think they're doing like. Son, we frontline workers. Yes. Don't we need them on the front line still? Yeah. Yeah, bro. What What's they, that about? What are they doing? Nah, they we're in the middle of the pandemic. And we're like, what we should do is just take all those people yeah. who know how to handle the pandemic and then let them watch the Super Bowl. The essential Son. workers are going to be essential observers. No, I'm back not. to work, <laughs> front line. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Thank you. Is nobody have an issue with this? Uh huh. It's imagine we're at war because yep. right now we're at war with the virus. Yes. And then we just took all the soldiers that are fighting the war. Yeah, that's the still Navy going SEALs. On. Thank you so much. But we'd like you to watch a football game. Yeah. The second it's done, you get to watch front row every single game, hey, whatever you, you want. Next we love year, you. Bro. Yep. Next year, Super Bowl. We still fighting. Yep. Back to the front line. This is crazy. Yeah. Chop, chop. This is crazy. Mm hmm. Nobody's pushing back on this. There's going to be some long lines in hospitals on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. So. Yo, how many people are going to die on Super Bowl what Sunday? What is everyone doing on Super Bowl Sunday? Getting together. Getting together. Oh yeah. Passing around COVID. Yeah. Now that oh y'all going to be back to work. Yeah. Oh, my God. This mm -hmm. is bad, bro. This mm -hmm. is bad, bro. I know they were trying to do it. They're like, oh, let's let's make a good. Not, uh, uh. You got to take people who already had it. Mm. If you have a positive COVID test, you should be allowed to go. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I like that. Maybe a positive COVID test around December, if you you know, because it yeah. can't be too far. Can't Agreed, too far. Al. That's a great point. There you go. Yep. So if you have a positive COVID test in around December, mm -hmm. right? And honestly, you should your COVID should be a different type of strain. Don't have the COVID that's from Florida. Oh yeah, mm. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you you need... have to be from somewhere else, but have the positive. So you can't take like the California strain or the new, you know, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. hypothetically speaking, the New York strain to Florida. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that should be it. Whatever. We'll talk to. Sometimes you're a genius, man. Thanks, bro. We'll talk to the mesh. We'll see what we can do. All I'm trying to say is Bill Belichick is doo doo. Dog shit. Dude, the luckiest yo. man in the history of sports Son. is Bill Belichick. Son. Fuck this guy, Bill Belichick. Yeah, real You're talk. You're trash, yo. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. we're going on next week with. Uh, 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 yeah, we're going to take oh, on you, the Jaguars next week. Uh, little dig is uh, after Brady won last week, he said we're on to Green Bay. Or, uh, I don't think anybody picked up on that, but I think that was a dig at Belichick. He took his little line. We're on to Green Bay. Uh, he said that after they won last week. Uh, but just the fucking balls of Belichick to treat Brady Ooh, like shit. How dare you? Who the fuck are you? Remember he tried to trade Brady? Oh, you my idiot. God. What a fucking idiot. I wish he did. Didn't he try to trade him? Brady would have two more Super Bowls. Wouldn't have lost to Philly. Un fucking believable, dude. Bill Belichick is so bad he got Philly a Super Bowl. What <laughs> a <laughs> bum. Unbelievable. What a bum. Unbelievable. I think it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Be Belichick, out of here. Okay, what else we got? Can I pee? Yeah, sure. All right, guys, let's take a break real quick so I can tell you how to sleep better. Everybody knows I have trouble sleeping, and it used to be fucking terrible because my mattress was fucking terrible. It was an all-foam mattress. I would sink into it. It would hurt my back. I slept like shit. But that is all better now thanks to Helix. Helix is the mattress that you need. First of all, they find the best mattress for you. All you got to do, go online, take a two-minute quiz, let them know your sleeping habits, what side, of the, what side of your stomach you sleep on, stomach, back, side, whatever. They find the mattress that's best for you, and then you get a better night's sleep. Everybody is unique, and Helix knows that, so they have several different models. They have soft, medium, firm mattresses. Mattresses great for cooling you down if you sleep hot, and even a Helix Plus mattress, mattress for plus-size folks. Son of a bitch. Now. After you take this quiz, <laughs> you should try to save some money. So go to helix.com slash flagrant, take the two-minute quiz, get the mattress that is customized perfectly for you, and Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Again, at helixsleep.com slash flagrant, up to $200. Now let's get back to the show. All right, we're back. Taylor's back with us. Um, let's talk about this Trey Songs thing, man. We just watched a video of uh, Trey Songs uh, altercation with the police at the Kansas City Chiefs game, and um, this one is tricky, man. Yo, yeah. this is. I mean, they're all tricky, but this is also tricky. This is tricky. If you watch the video, no volume, you're like, Trey is crazy. What the fuck? Why yeah, would you wildin'. punch a cop? This like, is in character for Trey. He be wildin'. Yeah, like does he? You he just hear yeah. like wild stories. Wild boy, Trey. yeah, wild boy. So <laughs> he, I mean, like if you just watch it no volume, you're like he did everything wrong here. Like yeah. it looks like the cop is trying to tell him to do something, arrest him. He's not complying with him, and he punched the cop in the face, and he put the cop in a headlock, and like bent him over the seat, and it's just he looks crazy. Yeah. But then you listen to the people in the video. Yeah. And the fans, the guy who's filming, and some other people are going. Arrest the cop. Arrest the cop. Mm -hmm. He did nothing wrong. What the hell is going on? To me, it is super weird that you would feel comfortable enough to punch a cop when you know you're getting arrested. Like, if you're punching a cop in the street and you could run away, mm -hmm. that's one thing. Mm -hmm. You're inside a stadium. Yeah. You're getting arrested. Mm -hmm. right? Like, there's no question. Like, there's nothing you could do. Yeah. Even if you tried to run out, not going to happen. Yeah. You would have to, you would either have to be like out of your mind, completely clinically insane. Yeah. Or believe that what was happening to you was so highly illegal that you were going to be justified in your action in a court of law. Yeah. Like you, you would, you must believe that what was happening to you is so illegal that a judge and jury would think that your actions were defensible. You oh. know that you're videotaped, you know, there's cameras everywhere. You know that there's it's not even the people videotaping. You know that the facility itself is going to videotape. Yeah. Everything is on tape. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Belichick got to tape people to win. Cheating fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good another, point. That's, that's how you know he's point. a shit coach. Yeah. He's not good enough to do it by himself. Oof. Tom Brady? Hey, bro. Let's go. Maybe he installed some cameras down there in Tampa Bay, and that I was mean, the issue. Why they didn't hey, win credit before. Hey, so, credit, credit to him. Credit to him. Some I mean, may say 
Brady might have deflated a few footballs. Oh, get the but fuck I'm out just, of here. He, he deflates the football. He it's not just, the proper no. PS line. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The only thing deflated shit. is Belichick's ego, bro. That's the only <laughs> thing that's been deflated. All right, back to this. His balls after he fucked supermodels. <laughs> Tom Brady, that's what's deflated. I'm fucking sleeveless. His balls after he nuts in his supermodel. <laughs> fucking say. sleeveless idiot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Flintstone. <laughs> a fucking dress like a Flintstone to a football game. <laughs> Won't answer a single question. That's Just what he coaches like too, question. like a fucking Neanderthal. Neanderthal. Idiot. Dumbass. Barney. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Barney Rubble. Hey, Dom, what do you want to do to yeah, Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> That's how you got there. <laughs> Barney Rubble, what? What? <laughs> I was just saying. What are we talking about? This is a Trey different songs? clip. Okay. <laughs> anyway, back to this. Back to this. Back to Trey Song. Back to police brutality. Back to police brutality, okay? Um, you know, usually, we're on the side of the police on this show. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. In this situation, you he start hearing the people in the background. They're going, yo, arrest him, please. He did nothing wrong, this, that, the other. There's two completely different accounts. One account is Trey Songs wasn't wearing his mask, and he'd been repeatedly asked by people in the stands, stands and the ushers to put on the mask. He did not comply, and then the police had to come over. He still did not comply, and then they get in a fight. The, the other account from witnesses is that he was being heckled by some fans who were in the stands. He tells them to stop heckling or whatever. He probably talks shit back. Sure, he talks shit back. Who knows? We don't know. This is just the other account. But, like, he tells him not. And then a policeman hears him talk shit to the fans and then goes and gets physical with Trey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seemingly out of nowhere. Right. So both accounts, very different. Yep. Like, the like complete opposite. It's just so crazy. I mean, like, I cannot fathom you'd have to be so intoxicated and even then to get physical with a cop in an enclosed space that you know is being videotaped mm. and there is no way out go do you have the mask detail no go this is apparently from the headline that the altercation began because he refused to wear a mask yeah, yeah that's what, oh, we is said. That what you said one okay. side says that uh, got but it. now the other side said they were heckling him based on the the chiefs got it. based on the game not i mean you don't heckle somebody about a mask that's not a heckle Right? In Kansas yeah. City, we've been to Kansas City. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's true. But also, is that a heckle? Like, put your mask on. That's not a heckle. That's yeah. like saying, obey the rules. Like, right. Oh, no, I took it as they were heckling Trey. That's yeah, they're I heckling thought. Trey. Yeah, but, yeah, like, they're not. Bum. I don't consider it a heckle if you're asking someone to obey the rules. Oh, no. Mm. Right? Like, yeah. if, if somebody goes, hey, your car is parked on the sidewalk. You should probably parallel park it where the wheels aren't on the sidewalk. You're not like, well, some guy's heckling me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? right. Yeah. It's it's a function of doing something. You're doing something totally correct, and then someone is being critical of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're heckler, heckling them sorry. based on the Chiefs either. I think they're just giving Trey Song shit because they're drunk. Mm -hmm. But like a heckler on stage, right? You're telling your jokes. He interrupts the show yeah. and starts saying things. He shouldn't be doing anything. Yeah. A person at a show or a person at a game that's telling you to obey the rules of the show or game is completely fine. Yeah. It's like an audience member being like, talking to the mic, we can't hear you. That's not a heckle. That's not a heckle. That's you just, helpful advice. Can't be hurt. Or, or like when an audience member tells the heckler to shut up. He's yeah. not also heckling. Yeah. He's trying to make sure people right. abide by the rules Comply. of the show. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it was about the mask. Who knows? If it was about the mask, Trey's a fucking idiot. Yeah. If he wouldn't put on the mask and those are the rules, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. You know, yeah, we just had a super spreader event, but do it in the privacy of your own studio. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Come on. You know? Yeah. We're out 100%. here. 100%. Spread in. We got the antibodies, bro. I'd be a little outside. I mean, upset because it's outside. Yo, but the reality is... It's their rules. It's their yeah, rules. Yeah, I, you I agreed to go to the yeah, game. You yeah. didn't have to go to the game. No, that's true. You don't want to wear a mask? Don't go to the game. That's true. It's also Kansas City. is cold. Yeah. You were going to wear a scarf. I actually a scarf. love a mask in New York in the winter. Bro, it's, it's great. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Yeah. It covers your face. It's cold. You can't live here. You can't mm -hmm. live here. <laughs> no. You got to live. You got to go somewhere else. If the game was in Tampa... It's uninhabitable. Let's have a conversation. It's uninhabitable. It's unlivable. <laughs> that's the word that I've heard used. It's, it's uninhabitable. <laughs> you can't inhabit it. Yeah. <laughs> You can't inhabit it. Mm. It's it's uninhabitable. You can survive in it. You could survive it, but yeah. that's no way to live. Nah. That's a survival. We're trying to inhabit places. Yeah. Yeah. So Miami, here we come. <laughs> Point is I'll have it in New York. I'm just saying, if it's about the mask, he's a fucking idiot. Yeah. If if it literally he just refused to wear the mask, you're a fucking idiot. Like you go you're not the one wearing the mask and you're gonna punch the cop whose job it is to tell you where the mask you think the cop wants you to wear the mask? Then the cop is coming over. He's like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. I got to yeah. ask this guy to put on a fucking mask. Yeah. This is what I, when I was young and I dreamed of being a cop yeah. and I was going to stop crime and now I'm mask patrol. Yeah. Real talk. If it's about the heckler, he's an idiot. 
Keep going. Like, okay, let's say a cop comes up to you and puts his hands on you and you don't know where it's coming from. Like, the cop has a gun and he's in his head, he thinks he's doing it for a reason. I wouldn't first instinct is to go punch the cop. I'd be like, hey, hold up what you're doing. Tell me why I'm being detained. Yes. Not fight back with the cop and give him a reason to escalate things further. Yes. Even if it's unwarranted, it's a shitty position to be in. I've been in it, but that was just a dumb thing to do. Yeah, I mean, look. Anytime Alex would never fight a cop. <laughs> I'm That's saying, not something he I'm, would do. I'm talking from no, experience. No, you're the guy to judge. You're the guy. You're the guy. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm keeping it real. Yes, you've learned. You've yeah. changed. You've evolved. You were an this idiot. This is your then. Connor I was McGregor an idiot moment. That. Yeah. I was absolutely yeah. an idiot. Yeah. So look, yes. Andrew's fault, though. It's my fault completely. Yeah. Yep. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. Don't punch the cop and then figure it out later. Yeah. Live to die another day. Exactly. Unfortunately, that saying really applies yeah. with Unfortunate. black people and yeah. the cops. Yep. <laughs> but like you work it out at the station. Yeah. Don't work it out when you could be dead. Yeah. Obviously, you know you're not going to get shot right there, but it seems like a you, stupid that's thing. That's not do. really obvious. The cop, he was had a uh, chokehold in, had a gun. I mean, it looked like Trey had the chokehold on the cop. No, nah, yeah. first no. the cop had Trey down, then Trey punches him. And then Trey, uh, like, flips it on some yeah. UFC shit. Yeah, he really did. <laughs> yeah, that but my thing sucks. Yeah. Yeah, that guy sucks at oh, being yeah. a cop. He, absolutely. You he needed no the Trey sheriff Songz to come in there history? and do the job. Why? Does Trey Songs like to fight? We got a little booger yeah. in there. Now. <laughs> I was going to tell you, but the camera wouldn't have seen it. But, but he likes to fight? Damn, that thing was There's that big. There's been many you could see altercations it from with Trey. <laughs> oh, like, so he's a wild boy. Yeah. yeah. Trey, yeah. I know, is wild, but what, what like, legal shit? I know he'd be, like, peeing on his clothes. He's legal assaults and all that stuff like i remember my friend told me that he saw trey uh smack uh the phone out of a girl's hand because the girl was like oh i mean you're not august supposedly you're not august you're not Augustina, but you'll do or something like that and he got mad at that's him. hilarious wow so he gets a little emotional about shit yeah i mean look was that girl jada why the fuck he took <laughs> 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 but yeah, I don't know. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta see what ends up happening with this. But like, a precedent is gonna be set. You can't put your hand on an officer. And the thing about this is like, that's years. That's a felony. Yeah. Right. We're talking about what is that? Ten years? Five to ten years? I think it's a minor felony depending on the case because it was like a, uh, resisting He's arrest. Guard. It one thing is resisting arrest. Another thing is attacking an officer. He punched that officer in the face. There's a clear strike. Yeah, a good lawyer would be like, "This is part of the uh, resisting arrest." Better get a good lawyer. It's not, gonna he, it's not going to help him though, because I'm reading some of his uh, his other legal issues. What do we know, got on Wikipedia? 2016, following a performance in Detroit, Bunch of snitches. Yeah. He was arrested and charged with felony assault of a police officer. Oh, so he's got a history of assaulting police officers and misdemeanor for aggravated assault against a photographer. Oh, it's over. Trey Song's going to jail. And the the cop alleged that in a lawsuit that he had a career ending brain injury and had to go un, uh, oh undergo a hip God. replacement because songs punched him in the face. Oh, get that money, bro! <laughs> that's all about collecting that check. Come on, yo! <laughs> that's yeah, what, get that's that what injury. That's, pay, that's what the son. Swedish guy tried to do against me from. He wanted that check. Yeah, huh? yeah. hilarious. So he <laughs> wanted to claim that he couldn't go back to work. Yeah, he was like, oh, ass. I had headaches for weeks. The I way I beat his <laughs> ass and hurt my head for no, so long. No, I connected. Come on, side. I connected. Come on, side. You connected to the ground. Wait, in your fight win loss record, is that a win? Or a loss? That's a loss. <laughs> okay, you take that as an L. Yeah, that was a huge loss. Yeah. Got bullied by a little Swede. Dude, shut up, son. son. Yeah. My man was you got Taylor's bullied. Height. He Taylor's pushed height. you right out the a way. Taylor's son. height. Mm. So literally what? beat the shit out of Alex and sent he Andrew with flying Vicky, so. with one didn't send me flying. So. I sent you tripped flying. The guy. So. I tripped the guy, chased him down <laughs> from the back. You tripped, the chased guy. him down. Wait, how, how'd you trip him? Wow. Say again. How'd you trip him? My foot. I you not outrun the cops though. Sure he couldn't outrun nobody, Sounds like this bro. cop beat the shit out of both of y'all. Nah, honest, he, was good, not... he was in pretty good shape. Keep, sure keep going. Keep going. He was in pretty good shape. He was in pretty good shape. <laughs> you in pretty good shape. Yeah, but he was, black, in, better he he was in pretty better shape. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> he was in pretty wait, better shape. Wait, wait. Hold on. He walked right through him. He walked right through Al. Yeah, through your arm first. My arm. I have no, it's a he bad just leverage lit. point, bro. It's like how you block someone with an arm, dog. I was like that. What am I supposed to do? He didn't even need to swim arm you. He just like... He walked through my arm. Just stiffed arm. And I'm then proud of that. I'm on to the <laughs> I'm proud actual fight. I'm proud of that because I need him to walk <laughs> through the arm so that you can get your shot off. 
Son, have you ever seen a Swede in the track and nah, field Nah, I got Olympics? the punch off first. No, I put the arm there so that because because you are slow with your punches. Son, you're I got the slow. punch off first. No, son, you so ain't gonna tell these lies, punches. yo. Son, he's so slow you ain't gonna tell these lies, I had to son. Stop the guy so the punch would hit him. Notice I put my arm above where his arms are. He was about to block the shit out of both you your know. punches and then just piece you up. And <laughs> I just couldn't have that happen, this is my boy. Crazy, so you punch son. him and then you ran right, and then I chased him down from behind, bro. I hawked him. And That's I'm, what they call it. I'm mad because the fans are gonna hear this and believe you. Son, I suck. hawked him for you, bro. Right. Mm. And I tripped him. <laughs> I tripped him. He fell on his face mm -hmm. after tripping him. Yep. I gave you ample room to run away. Son, and you lost a fight and a race to a and white then guy. He yeah, stepped, yo, this is sad. And then he They're stepped on their side. People, then he yo. stepped over to their side. It was like, damn, these guys are crazy, these fucking Americans. <laughs> I saw that. I did say he that. He switched sides so he did. didn't get jumped At least too. you just said Americans. I did. What do you <laughs> mean? He had an African to that yeah. problem. Uh, yeah, I was going to make nothing it. nothing to do with color. Yeah, nothing to do with color. But I was nah, just but like, you yeah. disappointed your race, though. Yeah, I lose a foot race to a we Swede, need to yo. Have a foot race because people are being like, I just need to recover for Alex now. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, <laughs> you need to race Alex. That's what we need to have foot. It was unbelievable. I remember watching him. I remember watching him run away, right? And crazy. I and I literally go, I go, run, Al, come on. I had to tell <laughs> yeah. him to run because I thought he could go faster was, than that. It was like him running in a dream. Like Bro, he was kind of in place a little. Super yeah. slow. I was dude. being jumped Molasses. and the security yeah. guards were coming from all sides. No, they weren't. Yes, you they were. You ran back towards the security guards. There were six security guards there. What kind of it Mission was, Impossible? Nice security guards. Yeah, there were six security guards. Security guards. Security guards. Security guards. I was on the ground. Four was holding me up. One of them. One was talking to you, having a little conversation. I literally, I had one that I pulled off to the side. I was like, oh, word? And I just started Peace in his ass. Yeah, like, oh, word. Can nothing. I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Peace in his ass this up verbally. Is, right? Literally. Verbally. Nah, nah. Hey, Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier. Verbal. I've slapped him right in the yeah. fucking his shoulder, bro, when we yeah. was holding <laughs> each other on the way to go look at Al. And then we was like, yeah, you got it. And then we went. And then, um, yeah, I talked all them off you. <laughs> what I did was heroic, bro. It's unbelievable, dog. Is, no Sorry. one was filming this? Son, Nobody. Al, how do you nah, lose bro. a race to a Swede, Sorry, dog? Nah. Yeah, that was embarrassing. That's nah, embarrassing. Drew, you have Drew, a good I gotta answer give for that. Drew give me really. one Swedish gold medalist Sorry. in track ever. Ever. That's true. Drew really, Bill Bell checked that situation. You really did. Whoa, I like, did, bro. Oh, you did. shit. You did, really bro. Cam Newton that shit, son. I did. <laughs> That's embarrassing, That's bro. That's what happens under Bill Belichick. Uh, no, honestly, you see? Honestly, it was true. Because I thought he was going to be able to audible. I didn't realize that I had to make all the decisions mm. for him. Oh, when yeah. I said run, I thought he was going to run away from all the other. He didn't call the right runs. play. Oh, yeah. You ran towards them he for some reason. Hey, I have no clue why you did that. You run and towards then his answer is the this. defense. His answer has always been like, he, he goes, he goes, he goes, well, I didn't know where to go. I didn't. There's one way to not go. <laughs> you you could know where to not go. Yeah. Yeah, you but, don't go where all the people yeah. are. You're They're assumed, trying to yeah. fuck you in up. In that moment, you don't know what's going on. Yes, you do. You I see billy clubs and you run away from the billy yeah. clubs. You I ran did, towards them. But yeah. then more came. No, no, they didn't, bro. They did. That's why nah. I hit the U-turn. Bro, you went And then they fucking that's cornered me. Yo, son, bro, he ran because like they were coming movie. like Like he's around. in Europe and there's bad guys coming no, around the corner. No, a U-turn like, is still. Look at about? this right here. Here's the club right here. Are we in a wide so they can see it? Yeah. Go to the wide so they can see it. This is the club. Yeah. Fight goes out down the street here. I create the separation mm. between him and the guy trying to beat him up. I literally create the separation. I kick his fucking tool away. Yeah. He has no billy club. He has no nothing. He's falling on the ground because I've tripped him. Yeah. Yeah. All me. He had a billy club versus my hands. Right. Just want to let you know. All me. Mostly I did that. And then Al, I go, run, Al. Right? Yeah. Al runs three feet. <laughs> in the opposite yep. direction, he Watch. runs three yep. feet away from the club, yep. and then he, he realized goes, he goes, "Oh, I haven't been hitting the head enough." No, and then I realized yeah. there's he, more security guards coming from that side. So then I turned the other Where way. Where they come from? Where would they so, come from over there? It's a McDonald's. What are you talking about? It was right the across street. the street. I know the whole. He literally ran back in front, and he got tackled right in front. Of the club, so, literally this across guy's the street. Is crazy, I heard bro. them talking to so each this other. This was six like, guys. Uh, is he stupid? Why is he running back? <laughs> what the stupid guy running right back to us, making it so easy for us? <laughs> that literally, they were saying that to each other. They couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe it, bro. So, in the right in front of it, I'm gonna let you, you got, get it off. 
It's true, uh, bro. It's just embarrassing. Too. You got caught by white people, dog. Swedes, you're a black, Af- you're an African American <laughs> yeah, black whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shut up. I know you slow mo. Yeah, yeah. Black whoa. Black in Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Taylor, don't even let you claim black no yeah, more, yo. Bro. I yeah. Afro Latino out the window. I see that, window, Taylor. Nah, I see black that. Black people not having this half black mm-hmm. shit anymore, dog. <laughs> Y'all really not. Nah. Everybody uh, want to be black, and now you got tinks now, bro. I know. I see that. I see that. Switch sides. All right. Yeah, yeah, it is fucked that. up, bro. Yeah, yeah. Afro, mm-hmm. bl- Afro Latino, y'all were black for like good six months, bro. Yep. And now you back. They yeah, mostly used, Latino. They used us. Mostly Latino. <laughs> Did they use y'all they or y'all used, used them? Nah, they used us. Interesting. They saw uh, how you voted. They stopped fucking with you. That's <laughs> true. Them Afro Latinos. I mean, I'm going down to Miami, baby, <laughs> yeah. to be with your people. All I'm trying to say is. Um, Trey I'm done talking about whatever we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Trey, Song. no, Trey Songs is going to be rough for Trey Songs. I yeah. think he goes to jail. Three years minimum. What? I think he's supposed to three years in jail. Yeah. Really? How does you he, cannot how did he punch get out an of the officer. Other ones? But how did he get away with the other ones too, though? Because they didn't have video of him punching an officer in yeah. the face and then putting them in a chokehold. I don't think he three years, though. I, you ha- minimum. He finds a way to get out of this. Bro, he had, he literally know, he punched an easy. officer in the face. Yeah, You cannot do that. If the officer got physical with him and doesn't say why, that's you can't do that as a cop. What do you mean? He didn't read him his Miranda rights? Nah, he probably didn't say anything. The, the yeah, people were true. saying like, the "Yo, he didn't do nothing." The cop is, just, he just went came up, to him. up and started attacking him, basically. Yeah. So that's how he could get out of it. It yeah. was self defense. Huh. Yeah. yeah. And all you need is doubt. All then you need off. is doubt, bro. Whoa. Yeah, yeah I guess that's, that's poetic. Jay-Z anyway, album, yeah. what else we got going on this week? Um, Let me do some facts, no feelings, real quick. Oh, we could do that. Yeah, how do y'all feel about Rudy Giuliani getting sued? Mm. I love it. Feelings, no facts. Here we go. I love it. So Rudy Giuliani is getting sued by Dominion, yes, which was the uh, voting ca- vote counting machine, yeah, or whatever like that, and basically just for defamation. Yeah, and I think the lawsuit was like one point three billion. Yeah, or something, something like that. crazy. Yeah. But I love it. It's like low key. If Dominion is not fucked up, mm-hmm. like if Dominion is an authentic voting machine that is not you know wrought with fraud mm-hmm. then you should be absolutely pissed yeah that's mm. your business yeah you know what i mean it's like you have a restaurant and somebody's saying that you sell rats yeah but they're saying it on the biggest scale yep. the highest stage yeah yep. now people have no confidence in your business and you're gonna lose tons of money i mean that shit impacts my view of dominion 100 you know I mean? percent. If, if someone was like yo dominion's gonna handle the ticket sales for the next tour Oh, like, that's a good ass point. I don't know. I mean, there's got to be someone else to handle the ticket sales or something. Right? You know what I mean? If like, there's another option. You're probably gonna go for it. They might deserve that money. I think they deserve the money, I especially think- if it's if proven that there was no fraud. If you can prove beyond a shadow of doubt that there was, when I say no fraud, yes, people are make fraudulent votes all the just time. Just like every a, like election. a negligible amount of fraud. Yes, but if the machine itself was not being manipulated mm-hmm. to help the Democrats. I mean, you got to get that money. I just love the fact you can't just say whatever you want. Yeah. I get your ass sued. If you're yeah. lying on somebody, sue that ass. They should sue for all the money. I also explained to me how it's not a little pussy to not sue Trump. He's out of office now. Wait, wait. They're mm. not suing Trump? I mean, I haven't seen that. Mm. Oh, that's pussy. Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani, the lawyer that Trump won't pay? Interesting, though, maybe Trump never said anything specific yeah. about Dominion. Trump is good. He's a mafioso, bro. Yeah. This guy knows how to rule it. This fucking idiot Giuliani has been a prosecutor so Trump long, he don't realize him, how, to be a, a, so. how to be a Don. Yeah, because he got the mafia out, son. He don't know. Exactly. Right. Or maybe they're going for Trump, and this is like the person that it funnels to. You know ah, what I mean? so you get Rudy to snitch. Or like they're trying to get to, like they're trying to get Trump because Trump is like, it's his campaign. You work f- your way up to Trump. Something like, but yeah. like either that or like they can't get Trump because it's all through like this legal shit. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, let's say he said something, it might not be like if he puts out a tweet, it's different than Rudy Giuliani going to court and suing. Yeah. You know no, but I mean? the tweet yeah. is still slander. I can get you on slander. Right. But I don't think you, you can are do verbally a point, saying this is a stolen election, suit. stealing votes, blah, blah, blah. You're attacking the credibility of my company. Right. That's slanders. Right. It's libel if it's in tweets. Yeah. You're done. Mm. Yeah. But I just don't think that it can be that big of a suit. I think it's like. I think that they're going for like the big one, which is Giuliani being in court, like dragging them through the mud. Yeah, I think they just want to be a pain in the ass. I just think they want to give these people their uh, comeuppance. Their comeuppance. Yeah. Sue both. That's yeah, my thing. I mean, Sue that's everybody. Shocking that they're not also suing him, but maybe yeah. he never said anything specifically about it. Maybe he never tweeted anything specifically about I think it. We'd have to look. That's yeah. what I think. I think he just said, "Oh, the election's being stolen from me," but I, he might not have named names. 
Yeah. Or mm. or speaking code like that Dominion's some funny business going on, like no actual accusation. I think it's right. enough to even just lawsuit. I mean, I yeah, they might as you lose it and then that makes you look a I can see them leveraging a lawsuit just to like intimidate people. Yeah. Like if you're like Ted Cruz or some other like I'd go after everybody person, bro. you're not gonna yeah. come out and start keep talking that crazy talk. Or maybe instead of the one point three billion, you get him to admit publicly that he was full of shit. Yeah. yeah. Just admit publicly that there is no evidence whatsoever mm. that these Dominion machines were designed so that they could be manipulated because that's what they were alleging. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that they were manipulated, but that was part of the design. And they were saying that they have ties to the Clinton organization. Right. Chavez and blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. that's right. That they were from a Venezuelan company or whatever. But yeah. I think that they had ties to like the Clinton Foundation or some of like the donors were also part owners of these companies. Mm. Yeah. They were they were just alleging some crazy shit. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to talk all that shit about me and you know that there's no proof to support it, I'm going to need you to keep that same energy when you're apologizing mm -hmm. just as loud. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right in front of the Four Seasons Home Improvement. <laughs> You're going to go right back up there. You're going to say all that shit was fake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, listen, I'm not mad at that. Same if, energy. If it's fake, if they're able to prove that. And if they prove yeah. that Dominion voting machines were fucked up. Yeah, good. Them out. Then great. Yeah. We yeah. don't want fraudulent voting machines in our country. Yeah. This yeah. is a win-win for everybody. Yeah. There's no way you could be upset at this. Because if you truly believe that they were fraudulent, you want a high-profile court case to go see. Mm -hmm. And if you believe that they weren't, you want a high profile court case to go see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How could anybody be upset at this? Yeah. No matter what we win, the people. Yeah. I mean, Giuliani might be a little bit upset, but yeah. <laughs> I'm saying the people, bro. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> Not these motherfuckers. All right. What else we got? So Trump is making a new or threats to make a new. It's already started. Public, uh, why are, why are people acting like that this doesn't exist? It's already? not an official. Like a not an official thing. And oh, he wants an official party and they're going to vote the in that Patriot way. Party. Yeah. Like the Green Party. He yes. wants the Patriot Party. Great name. This, Great article, name. this yeah. article says the MAGA Party. Or the yeah, MAGA Party. I think I heard Patriot Party was probably what they'll go to because that's better. Matt, Patriot Party is better. MAGA it, has such a negative connotation. It is negative connotation and it's also like make America great again. Like what happens when you achieve your goal? Yeah. Yeah, like, keep America great. But it's yeah. never a goal that's achieved. Of course, I know what I'm saying. Is like, that's it, a, it's like, it's almost can like. always use it. You, yeah, but like your name will imply that you can't do what you want. Like if you got everything that you wanted, it would be great again. Then your party stops. Yeah, it's a good slogan for the first time you run for president. That's exactly. why he went to keep America great for mm. his re-election. So you right. can't call it the keep America great party because then we lost. How do we run? Right. Mm. So you have to change it up. But yeah, I think that that's just the natural course of things. Like, especially in America, right? You have the extreme left. You got the uh, with a squad or whatever yeah. like that. Then you have, I think you'd call them, or the Ber Bernie, the squad. Like, those are the more extreme left. And then you have the kind of institutional left. You have, like, the Pelosi, the Schumers. Yeah. And then you have the institutional right. That's, like, the Bushes, Marco Rubios. Ted Cruz is flirting with that extreme right. Mm -hmm. But, you know. He's the, such a fucking loser. He's though. a scumbag. I hate this motherfucker. Yeah, pussy. He but the and worst. then you have the extreme right, which is, you know, Trump. And now it seems like Cruz is kind of like falling into that Cruz area. Cruz goes wherever he can get. He yeah. has no beliefs. He's a spineless fuck. Spineless fuck. He's not even American. Was he born in Canada? Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Be gone. <laughs> yeah, dog. Go back. <laughs> cuck. Yeah. Where's <laughs> your With pride? With the cuck and canuck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? Um, a Harry Potter TV series is reportedly in early development. Lit. Now this is going to use the same characters, and when does it take place? It better not after these motherfuckers all abandon her. Y'all out. The same characters. Y'all out. You oh, talk now the shit second about... the money comes back, yeah. it's okay to work for the transphobe. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. Pussies. Yeah, bitch, mm. you out. Yeah. <laughs> you abandon the goat, that. J.K. Aren't Rowling. Are too old to have a series? Yo, nah. It well, depends when the series takes place. It could take place in the future. You're never yeah. too old to play. be in the Harry Potter. Could be about their wizard kids mean, doing all their wizard shit. That's what the play was. It was kind of whack. But, like, <laughs> I'll be honest, it was. You just want to see Harry flip that wand, bro. Yeah. I'm not yeah. trying to see Harry Jr. I'm not trying to see Hermione Jr., all that kind of shit. Yeah, I want to see on, Harry yo. get busy, bro. Hmm. I've already committed to that character. I fell in Why love with that character. Why is he still in school, though? Say what? Oh, what if, what, how they're gonna do what if he's a professor? Thing. What if he goes yeah, all... Yeah, yeah son, he's a professor. He go back, he gonna be the new Dumbledores. Yeah. So, wait a minute. It's going to be, like, Saved by the Bell? Oh, yeah, they end up whack. like working at yeah, the yeah. school that they used to go to. That's yeah. what they turned that into. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to say by. I don't want to say by the bell. I heard that you say by the bell is lit. Now they did another new one. The peacock joint. Yeah, I heard it's good. Oh, I haven't no. seen it. Oh no, man! Shout to Mario Lopez. Hmm. All right, what else? <laughs> uh, Master P is partnering with the former Tesla engineer to create a black-owned supercar. A black-owned supercar. Love it. Okay. I would and imagine it would be. 
an electric car. Right. So they're just going to try to make something to rival Tesla. Got you, yeah. got you, got you, got you, got you. Love it. If the car's great, awesome. Yeah, it I sucks. Mean, I don't, yeah, is it going to work? Probably. It's just one engineer. I mean, right now, you got yeah. one guy from Tesla. I think, yeah. And also, like, his shoes stunk. <laughs> Most <laughs> of his the products aren't good. Yeah, the music was good. But outside of that, is there anything that we really fucked with with Master P? Also, with, like, electric cars, are you just going to buy an electric car just because it's black home? Yeah, I mean, if like they're comparable in quality. Yeah. Yes. I know. I would. Really? Yeah. yeah, shit gets expensive it. enough where you stop giving a fuck who owns it. Be honest. That's true. There's but a if it's, threshold. If it's comparable, if, like and black the owned price is close. I'm going black owned. Yeah, exactly. yeah but if it's a it's black like owned bagel, one. you'll do it, right? But a black owned Tesla, or not Tesla, but a black owned like sports car. It's, You're just going to get the best sports car for be, that value. It has to be a comparable price and quality, which is tough, yo. Tesla, years in motion with this. Yeah. Yeah. All these other car companies are coming out with their electric cars, and they're whack, apparently. And the only reason we have yeah. faith in Apple to do it is because it's Apple. It's the richest company in the fucking world. The whatever. only reason I have faith in Apple is because of their battery life. That's the only thing. The I think that they'll be able to figure out <laughs> battery life when it comes to... I think that their ability to like extend battery life in these small phones yeah. is going to give them a competitive advantage in the electric car. And at the end of the day, I still have more faith in Elon Musk than Tim Cook. And I definitely have more faith, no disrespect, but Elon Musk than Master P. I mean, (laughs) who makes a better car? Yeah. Who can figure this out? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this Master P, but best of luck. If it's fire, we'll ride with it. Mm. All right, guys, look, we'll see you in Miami. Very excited to do this move. Uh, We will have the Patreon episode this week. And then after that, we are down to Miami. We love you. We appreciate you. We are excited to share this with you guys. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Peace.